want to hear some Jeffy tunes? I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Weffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, that was totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. All right, how about three more songs? No! All right, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. I got my way. I got my way. Jeffy, are you really going to pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not going to drink it. He's not going to drink it. He's afraid of monsters. And maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out? Or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? <laughs> Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does a rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster, but now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my God, he's going to be up forever now. Marvin, uh, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh! Marvin, quick, go eat at the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell salesman. I was wondering if you went to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Uh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. Shh. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can, can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a maid bell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, can you just stop, please. And if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel man, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not gonna buy anything? No. Wow. Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my God! What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard got his back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Oh, hey, get in the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. Who could that beat? 
Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitars, huh? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! The world needs to know about your racism! You like to smash little gay black boy's guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I ain't no, yeah, I ain't no he's white. Look, Lil Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? Guitars are loud, you idiot! You, are you gonna get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no, I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is 100 Give it up! Let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hucker dudes. Howdy, neighbor! What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I gotta cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not gonna stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going batting practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. D did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside. Go, 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 go. Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside! Go, 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 go. Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay! Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I gotta go back to the airport. So go outside! Go, 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 go. What the hell was that? Oh, sorry, I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Whoa. Oh, my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, Happy birthday to you. Sing it louder! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! No, sing the real version! That is the real version! No, no, it's not! Sing the real version! What are you talking about? Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Cause today is your birthday! I've never heard that version! Cause today is your birthday! Blow it up! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Peepee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Chairs! Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin. Shh. Don't shush me. Stupid. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, Look, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No, it was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry, I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping and I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> uh, I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Did you just turn on the TV? What, did you sit on the remote? No!
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay? A high-speed police chase ended in front of a house, and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof, and police have the place surrounded now. Marvin, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, because I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat somebody. Oh, can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm gonna fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. What the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my uh... God. I will never get some sleep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Go. Hey, you messed me up, Daddy. I was trying to go for forty thousand. You only had eleven. Well, I gotta start somewhere. Yeah, Marvin. Why did you mess him up? Because he got in our face with a boing, boing, boing. I was trying to watch TV. He's being annoying. <sighs> There's someone at the door. Well, I'm gonna go find my ball and start over. Hello? Hi, I'm Steve Steelberger, and I'm representing Geico Insurance. I'm here to give you this check for $10,000 for your son's car accident. Why are you giving us $10,000 for a car accident? Well, his car was totaled, and they valued it at $10,000, so here you go. So, what can I spend this money on? Whatever you want. Uh, okay. For two, for three, for four, for five, for six, for seven, for eight. Baby, baby, baby. Hey, guy, you messed me up again. Baby, we got a $10,000 check. For what? For Jeffy's car accident. When did Jeffy get in the car? Accident. Remember he hit that tree? Yeah! Oh yeah! So they gave us $10,000 because that's what they valued Jeffy's car at. I get $10,000? No, we get $10,000. Marvin, I think we should use that check to get Jeffy a new car. Jeffy does not deserve a new car because he crashed the last one. You're not getting me a new car? You guys suck! So I think we should use this money to go on a vacation to Hawaii. No, Marvin! I'm taking this check right now to get Jeffy a new car. No, 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 but... but but Hawaii! Okay, let me try this. One, two, three. Marvin, you gotta come outside and see this car! Baby, you ruined it! I was going for 40,000! I was so close! <sighs> okay, Marvin, this is the car I got Jeffy! Wait, you got him a convertible? Yeah, Marvin, I thought it'd be nice during the summer for him to put the top down and go to the beach! He's not supposed to drive to the beach, baby! I don't even trust him to go to school! This car is supposed to drive to school and come right back, that's it! Marvin, he's 18 years old, let him have some fun! He has the brain of a five-year-old! Marvin, what if he takes a girl out on a date? <laughs> Look, that's gonna happen. Marvin! Look, just put the top up, and we're not gonna tell him the top can go down. Fine. Jeffy, get in here! Hey! Jeffy, there's a surprise outside, come on. Okay. All right, Jeffy, here's your new car. You got me a new car? It's a PT Cruiser. A PP Cruiser? Hoes are gonna be cruising on my PP when they see this bad bitch. Jeffy, language. Now, Jeffy, here's the two rules, okay? Do not wreck this car. If you wreck this car, you're not getting another one, and do not spray paint it. Okay, don't spray paint it. Got it. <laughs> And done! The Jeffy Ho Wagon 2.0, aka the PP Cruiser, is done! I know I said I wouldn't spray paint it, but I don't give a shit. Now let's go get some hose! Alright, let's crank this baby up! Ah, listen to that baby purr! Oh, what's this button do? Wow, the top can come off? That means hose tops are gonna come off when they see this car. When I drive by, they'll just be able to jump right in. So let's go get some hose, yeah. Okay, Simmons, this power line fell down during a storm and now it's a hazard, so we need to move it. All right, well, let's move it. Simmons, Simmons, no! Simmons, are you okay? Oh. 
What happened? You got electrocuted, Simmons. It's a power line. Oh, I guess that's what the power word means in power line. Yeah, so we have to go kill the power so we can move this thing. All right. Oh, man, I love this car so much. It's so awesome. I'm ready for the hose. Hose, where are you? Jeffy's coming. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. Oh, my, you're all right! <laughs> Just kidding. Little electrician joke. Ah, uh, shocking. Uh, what's this joke of doing? Hey, asshole, get out of the road! We're trying to fix a power line! I'm gonna go give him a piece of my mind. Hey, jerk off, you can't park here! Uh, uh, um, sir, you appear to be missing your head. Where to go? Oh, oh, God, no! Oh, my God, how did that happen? Uh, oh. Oh, the power line. It, it, it knocked your head off. Uh, jinkies! Simmons! 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 Oh my god, Simmons! Simmons, there's cars ahead that are decapitated for the power line and I'm getting that other car! Hey, calm down! So what you're saying is the power line decapitated the driver of that car over there? Uh-huh! Well, we turned the power off. How did it do that? Well, the power's not the problem, Simmons. The line was still on the road. Look, I have to get my doctor outfit on. Marvin, do you think Jeffy's enjoying his new car? Well, we haven't heard from him since we gave it to him, so ho, 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 Merry Christmas to me! What? Uh, hey, guys. Doctor, what are you doing here? Uh, well, it's about Jeffy. He was in an accident. He wrecked his car already? Oh, uh, no, the car's fine. Thank God. Marvin, is Jeffy okay? <laughs> well, let's just say I wouldn't lose my head over it, because he already did. What? Oh, maybe this will help me explain. Uh, you, you see this little Lego guy here? This is your son before the accident. And this is your son now. He lost his head? Yep, he was beheaded. <laughs> beheaded? Oh wait, wait, what happened? Well, as far as I can tell, he was driving his car with the top down, and there was a power line that was hanging too low in the road, and it cut his head off. Why was there a power line hanging too low? I was trying to fix it. It fell down during a storm. Well, did you have any caution tape to warn people? That is a good idea for next time. Wait, did you not put cones in the road to close the road? That is also a good suggestion for next time. Is the power line still hanging low? Yes, it is. Well, what if it happens to someone else? I I think we should focus on your son's beheading and not uh, the other people that could happen to. Wait, is my son dead? Oh, no, no, no. He, he's fine for now. Uh, you see this cooler right here? Yeah, his head's in there. That's how I'm preserving it. Wait. He's still alive? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to talk to him? I can take it out for a minute. I think it'll be fine. He can still talk? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get him. What? Okay, here's Jeffy. Oh, my God, Jeffy! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, Daddy. Uh, uh, what doing? He can't talk. No, obviously he can't talk. He's a severed head, idiot. You said he could talk. I was joking. I was just trying to lighten the mood. So what do we do now? Well, now we have to find a body donor so I can take the brain out of this head and put it in a new body. Well, why can't you just put his head on his old body? Well, I couldn't save the head and the body because the the cooler's not big enough, so I just decided to save the head because it has the brain in it. The body's still sitting in the car and the heated seats are on, so it's pretty much toast by now. But to be honest, I don't even need the head. I really just need the brain, so get that out of there. Oh. Okay, there it is. Just toss that in the cooler. Oh man, I forgot my sandwich is in there. Hold on. It's a Toiki club. That's what Toikis sound like. Screw the sandwich! How long is the brain gonna be okay on ice? It'll be fine for a while, but the ice is melting, so we should probably put it in the freezer. Okay, well, I have a freezer. Okay, well, let me get the brain back out of there. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Marvin, go long. What? Well, it was a pizza. Is that a brain? Why would you throw it? I told you to go long. You didn't go long. Well, we have to get the brain. Hurry. Chef did you see a brain? Yeah, it went that way. Outside. Uh, do you see the brain anywhere? I don't know, man. It could be anywhere. Wait, look, it's right there. Ooh, okay, I'll get it. Wait, 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 wait. Look, there's a car coming. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh, 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 shit. Is it okay? Uh, it got run over. Uh, but grab it, grab it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Did you guys find the brain? Yeah, but it got run over. Is it okay? Well, there might be some brain damage. But Jeffy already had that. Marvin! And it is pretty dirty, so he might have a dirty mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> Can you just try to clean it off? Okay, yeah, good idea. <sighs> I'm blowing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just put it in the freezer? Oh, yeah, 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 I should do that. <laughs> Listen to the sound it makes when I squeeze it. Brain fart. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the freezer! Okay, yeah, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get a brain freeze. <laughs> okay, okay, I think I'm all out of brain jokes. So what do we do now? Uh, now we have to find a new body for his brain, so let's brainstorm and think of something. <laughs> okay, I guess I did have one more. 
<laughs> I mean, Can you just shut up? So will anybody's body work? Yes, anybody's body will work. Not everybody's body, but anybody's body as long as they died recently and their body was put on ice. Well, how are we going to find a body that just died and was put on ice? Well, I do have a wife I don't like and an ex and a cooler. Well, would an animal's body work? Well, you're not getting my body because I'm an animal, <laughs> a party animal. <laughs> Thank you. That one was not even good. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, right. look the news! Breaking news, okay? Cecilia the seal choked on an eel and died at Seal World today. They have froze her body on ice to preserve her in hopes to bring her back to life in the future. Oh my god! Cecilia the seal died? I never got to see her, Marvin. Wait, can't we put Jeffy's brain inside that seal's body? Because they, they put the seal on ice. You know how hard it is to break into the morgue at Seal World? It's like trying to break into the White House. It's hard? Well, yeah, the president lives there. They can't just let everybody in. No, I meant Seal World. Oh, well, it's hard to break in there because seals have really soft fur that people sell for a lot of money. That's why people always club them to death and steal their fur. Seals don't have fur. Yes, they do. They ain't slick, Jack. Wait, I thought seals were slippery, like rubber. Oh, yeah? Does 46,500 fibers per square centimeter sound slippery to you, Jack? Wait, why do you keep calling me Jack? I don't know, I'm just trying it out. Okay, so you're telling me you can't just walk into Seal World and tell them that you're a vet and say, hey, I want to inspect Cecilia's body, and then you steal it? Hmm, yeah, I guess I could try that. Okay, fine. <sighs> <clears throat> I gotta go to Seal World to steal Cecilia the Seal so we can seal this deal. But let's be real. Can I really steal Cecilia the Seal? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Okay, I got Cecilia the Seal's body, but it was not easy. I had to be like Seal Team 6 to get in there. They killed Osama Bin Laden. For real? For real? Stop it. Only I can make seal jokes. I'm the real deal. I was just being sealy. <laughs> well, shut up. Wait, what, what's that? Oh, oh, hold on. The Washington Wizards traded Bradley Beal to the, to the, to the Phoenix Suns? Hmm, interesting. Is my shirt teal? No, it's more of an aquamarine or a seafoam green. Can you focus on putting Jeffy's brain inside the seal? Yeah, sure thing. Hold on. Let, let me just peel the scalp back and get a feel for what we're dealing with. Put the brain inside the seal! Okay. Okay, the surgery was a success, so Jeffy should be alive as a seal. Hey, Jeffy. How are you doing? Jeffy? Wake up, Jeffy. Is he okay? Jeffy? Um... He's dead. What? Dead? You said the surgery worked! Well, it did, but you see, his brain did get run over by a car. Jeffy's dead forever?! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I wasted your time. Wait, time! 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 What, what, what? Look, I have this Apple Watch time machine belt right here. I can go back in time and stop Jeffy from being beheaded! What? So you, you can go back in time and this whole time you didn't tell us? Well, yeah, it's like a monthly subscription. You gotta pay like every time you do it. It's a real pain in the ass. So why are you willing to go back in time and fix this? Well, because I feel bad because it's my fault he got beheaded. I should have put a cone down like you said. Okay, so you can go back in time and stop him from ever getting in that wreck? Yeah, I can, but I gotta warn you, if I do this, you guys are gonna stop existing because this timeline will never have happened. That's so scary! I don't want to fade away. Well, I can take one person with me. I want to go. What about me? Bros before hoes. <laughs> Where are we? We're a minute before Jeffy gets beheaded. Look over there. That's me and my partner Simmons working on the power line. Now you go stop Jeffy from driving. I'm gonna go kill my past self so there's not two of me running around. Okay. Wait, is that, is that Jeffy? Jeffy! Jeffy, stop it! Daddy, what are you doing in your road? You wanna come get hosed with me? Jeffy, you, you spray painted your car, Jeffy! Yeah? I told you not to! Well, Daddy, when are you gonna learn? I don't give a shit. Wait, Jeffy, scoot over. You're grounded. Oh, I'm driving. Man. We're going home. Okay, Simmons, the power is shut off, so no more shockiness. Okay, I'm gonna turn the power back on, and I'm gonna crank the voltage super high, so when my past self pretends to get electrocuted, he really does get electrocuted. Okay, Simmons, the power's cut, so it should be safe to touch now. I know I get it, mate. You're playing a joke on me. Mate? Mate, you all right? Mate? You all right? Mate? Oh no! He doesn't have a pulse! He's dead! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh yes, he died! I'm gonna go cheer Simmons up. <laughs> oh my! Why'd you have to die? Looks like somebody needs a doctor. <gasps> Mate, you're alive, but you just died right there! No, nah, that was just a robot clone of me that I made. Oh, that's brilliant! You think you can make one for me? No, but let's go get some Applebee's. All right! Marvin? Where'd you go? <sighs> I'm back, baby. Marvin, where did you go? All right, Danny, I did it. You killed my old self? I did. Oh, thank you so much. Shibby! All right, Kraus, today we're going to be doing Woodshot. 
So with the very dangerous and high-powered tools on your desk, you're going to be making a wooden sculpture. Oh man, this hammer's so cool. Whoa, isn't this kind of dangerous? <gasps> awesome! Hey Cody, tag your in! <laughs> Joseph, get away from me, you're going to poke my eye out with that thing. Dude, it's what I'm trying to do! <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah, oh. you right. Stop it! Uh, teacher, what are we supposed to make? Anything you want. See, I made a birdhouse, so get started, Kraus. Okay, teacher. What? What? Joseph, put Cody down! But dude, he's having fun! Put him down! Alright, dude! Oh god, I'm gonna throw up. Cody, are you okay? Aw, oh, dude, stop being a baby! I gave you a roller coaster ride! Yeah. Cody, what are you gonna make out of wood? I don't know, probably a unicorn. Gay. Well, what are you gonna make? Ooh, a shark! Straight. I know. What about you, Junior? What are you making? I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur. Dope. Why did I only get tape and scissors? Because you're a girl, you can't be trusted with high-powered machinery. Us men can handle this, not you. Whatever, I'll still make something better than you. Hey, idiot, what are you gonna make? I'm not really sure you should be calling me names today. <laughs> Whatever, idiot. Don't do it, Jeffy, don't do it. Uh, teacher, can I see the nurse? Is that an ax in your head? Yeah. <sighs> Crass, make sure you be careful with the tools. You only have 15 minutes. Uh, All right, Crass, stop working. Your 15 minutes is up. I'm now going to come around to Crass and see what you made. Hey, Cody, check out my dinosaur. Sick dino, Junior. Not cooler than my shark, though. Hey, Penelope, what'd you make? I made a house. What a lame house. You didn't even put a door. I didn't have enough time, Junior. Hey, everybody, look at Penelope's lame house. She didn't put a door. That means any guy can come and go whenever they want, like between her mom's legs. Shut oh! up! Junior? Your mama ho! Your mama ho! <laughs> All right, Penelope, what did you make? I made a house. Okay, where's your door? Oh, I didn't have enough time. Okay, B minus. All right, Junior, what did you make? I made a dinosaur. <laughs> Great, where's his eyes? Uh, it, it's a blind dinosaur. B minus. <sighs> All right, Joseph, what did you make? Oh, I made a shark. <laughs> okay, where's his body? Uh... B minus. Aww. All right, Cody, what did you make? Uh, I made a unicorn head. Oh, yay, finally someone who made exactly what they said. A plus. <laughs> what? That's not fair. All right, Jeffy, what did you make? I made a machine gun. Oh, Jesus Christ, Christ, he finally doing it. Everyone under the death like we practiced. Someone call the cops. <laughs> He's gonna do it! It's always the weird kid! I thought Cody was gonna do it! Thanks, Junior. Get out of the desk, Cody! Get out of the desk! <laughs> Alright, kids, I'm here. Stay calm. It's safe now. Just everybody stay under their desks. What's going on? Hey there, crazy. Just calm down. Don't do anything stupid. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Just hand me the weapon. It's made out of wood. Alright, I'll be the judge of that. I know a gun when I see it. Alright, everybody, I got the gun! Just run! Run for your lives! Wait, wait, wait a minute. This actually is made out of wood. Man, kid, you're in big trouble for getting my hopes up like that. I thought I was going to be a hero today. But still, you're still in big trouble, because you could get expelled for pulling a stunt like this. You're lucky I don't arrest you. I'm sorry? What's wrong, Marvin? I have this weird feeling that Jeffy did something bad at school today. Oh, Marvin, you worry too much. Just sit back, relax, we'll watch TV. Okay. Breaking news, okay? This student made a weapon during his shop class and sparked panic across the entire school. Cops are on the scene now, dealing with the situation. More on this story as it develops. Oh my god! I told you I had a feeling Jeffy was gonna do something bad. Hey, Daddy, guess what? So I was doing my project in school, and the teacher said I was doing such a good job that I got to come home early, and now I never have to go back. Jeffy, what did you do? Your son did the worst thing imaginable. What did he do? Well, on the car ride over here, I was drinking Hawaiian Punch, and he asked me if he could have a sip, and I said, no, you have little kid germs. And he said, don't worry, you'll waterfall it. So he goes to drink it, and he spills it all over my car. It gets on the seats, it it gets in the cup holders, it gets on the floorboards, big sticky mess. I am not happy. No, no, I, I meant what happened at school. Oh, that. Yeah, that wasn't as bad. Yeah, he just made a gun out of wood and everybody thought it was real, so they got scared. What? Hawaiian punch! What? But baby, we're past that part. No, I know, but it's just so red and sticky. Yeah, I know. Believe me, I have to clean it up. I'm pretty pissed. No, 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 no. no. Look, we, the more important thing is let's talk about Jeffy at school. What's going to happen? Oh, he's getting expelled. Expelled? What? Well, yeah, but the school said they'll let him go back to school if he completes a one-day juvenile detention class school thing that I teach. Okay, when, when is the class? Oh, it's tonight. And if he fails, he's going to go to jail. Well, go to jail? So, so he has to pass it? He has to pass it to go back to school. And 99% of the people who take my class fail. Well, doesn't that mean you're just a bad teacher? No, it means they're bad people. It's not my fault. Okay, so, so Jeffy's gonna go to the class tonight and he's gonna pass. Right, Jeffy? Yep. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go clean out my car. Oh, okay. Jeffy, why did you do that? It's not my fault I spilled the Hawaiian punch. He went over his speed bump. Well, no, no, not that. Why did you do the thing at school? Well, because the teacher said that I could make whatever I wanted out of wood, so I made a wooden gun, and it doesn't shoot shit. What's your Jeffy language? Okay, look, let's just all calm down. Jeffy, you're gonna go to the class tonight, and you're gonna pass it, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, do you guys have napkins? Like, like a whole bunch of napkins? Yeah, in, in the kitchen. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need a lot of napkins, though. Oh, okay, go, go to the kitchen. Oh my god, this is, why is this my life? Mm -mm -mm. This looks so yummy! Hey, can I have some of these paper towels? Yeah, yeah sure! Thanks. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I'm getting paper towels, you said I could. Why so many? Look, man, my car is covered in Hawaiian punch. I need this many paper towels. No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Hey, look over there! What? Wait, hey, stop it! Hey, you can't stop me! My paper towels! God, he was so annoyed! Who's that? Wait, what do you want? Hey, I'm gonna need a lot more paper towels than this. Can I have the rest? No! Uh, I don't want to be here! Hey, kid, what color's your blood? Ah, what happened to your eyes? I tattooed my eyeballs with my pencil. All I see is darkness! Uh, you wanna try? No! Suit yourself. Ugh. I started a fire. I don't regret the people I killed. Give me your eyelids. No. I said give me your eyelids. No way. <laughs> all right, all right. Settle down, you freaks. Welcome to Be Good School, where I teach you how to be good. All right, you are all menaces to society. The world would honestly be a better place if you did not exist. So I'm going to try to fix you. Now, there are three main rules on how to be good. The first rule is manners. Now, that includes things like saying please and thank you, and according to my wife, not pissing on the toilet seat. But I do it anyway. It's not my fault you have to pee sitting down, just pee standing up like a man. Anyway, who wants to give me an example of manners? Can I please start a fire? Well, no, you can't start a fire, but you did say please, and I like that. That's one step in the right direction, and then five steps in the wrong direction because you asked to commit arson. Okay, look, I'll give you a real-life example of manners, okay? Let's say you're at a restaurant, and you order some chicken strips and a side of ranch. And so the waiter comes, and he brings you chicken strips, but he forgets the ranch. And you say, excuse me, I think you've forgotten my ranch. And he says, oh, right, I'll be right on that. And then, I don't see him for 15 minutes. And then he comes back and he says, can I get you anything? And I say, well, I really would like my ranch. And then he says, oh, right, of course, the ranch. And then he disappears for 30 goddamn minutes and then has the balls to come back and say, hey, can I get you the check? And I say, what you can get me is my fucking ranch. And he says, well, you can't talk to me that way. And I say, I can talk to you any way I want. Let me see your manager. And then he says, I am the manager. And I say, well, that's funny because your name tag says waiter, so go get me the manager. So then the manager comes over and says, is there anything wrong here? And I say, yeah, look at my dry chicken strips. I want some ranch. You're going to cop me this entire meal for free, or I'm going to put one of my ball hairs in the food and say that you did it, and I'm going to get this entire restaurant shut down. And then the manager says, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm going to comp you your entire meal. All your food is free today. And then I say, thank you. See, that's manners. I said thank you. So did anybody learn anything? Um, I learned not to forget your ranch. Yes, yes, you don't forget the ranch. That's exactly right. I mean, chicken strips without ranch, it's like a car without tires. What are you even going to do with it? Yes, exactly. You're going to make an excellent waiter someday if Applebee's ever starts hiring felons. Okay, now the second one is helping people. You gotta help people. It's just the nice thing to do, okay? Now I'll give you an example. What do you do if you're driving down the street and you see a girl whose car is broken down on the side of the road? You stuff her in the trunk? No, you don't do that. You set her car on? On fire? No, what is it with you and fire? What kind of car is it? Why does that even matter? Maybe I can steal it, I don't know. But you can't steal it because it's broken down and you shouldn't even want to anyway because that's wrong. Come on, think, people. Do you cut off her face and wear it? I don't think it's that one. It's definitely fire. No, 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 no. All of you are stupid. Does anyone have an actual good answer? Um pick her up and take her on a date to Applebee's? But ew! No, not Applebee's! Were you even listening to anything I was saying? No, she'd be better off just on the side of the road. She'd be just as hungry. You know, she'd just have to wait 30 minutes to get her chicken tenders and ranch anyway. No, 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 no. No, look, I'll give you a real-life example of helping people. So, my grandfather was incredibly rich. I mean, he was a millionaire, just filthy rich. And so he was in the hospital, and I was visiting him every day, you know, to make sure I got a piece of that. And then I see that he's on life support. He's being kept 
kept alive by a machine. Now, I'm thinking, what kind of life is that? That's no way to live, being kept alive by a machine. But he seems happy. He says, when I get this heart transplant tomorrow, I'm going to feel so much better. I can't wait to get out of the hospital. And I hear, I can't wait to get out of the hospital. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to help him, and I'm going to I'm going to end his suffering and pull the plug. So I do, and he flatlines, and all the nurses come running into the room, and I just say that I tripped on the power cord, and they believe me. And then, come to find out, what did he leave me in his will? A sofa! Can you believe that? I killed my, I, I mean, I helped my grandfather go to heaven. Or hell, probably, if all he left me was a sofa. Hey, you know what, kid? Ask your dad if my grandfather's in hell. Okay. Thank you. See? There you go. He's helping me by asking if my grandfather's in hell. All right, so we've covered two already. Manners and helping people. We just have one more left to cover. Now, does anyone want to guess what that is? Starting fires. Eating people's faces. Great Theft Auto. Total Annihilation. Picking your nose and eating it. No to all of that, because most of those were crimes, and the third third one is don't do crimes, okay? Now, crimes is stuff like killing people, stealing things. Yes, setting things on fire is a crime. And what I did to my grandfather was a crime. And so is what I will do to you if you tell anyone you heard that. All right, so now we're going to have a test that will make you have to use all three of the be good rules, okay? And you have to pass this test to not go to jail. But first, I'm going to have a lunch break and eat my very big foot-long imaginary sandwich. I just hope it's not too big. Um. He's choking! We have to do something! Richard set him on fire while he's choking. We should eat his face and we choke too. Let's just watch. Does he have a wallet? I'm coming to help you! <laughs> oh, oh, Jeffy, you saved me! Thank you! You're welcome! See, class? That was it. That was the test. Jeffy passed because he did all three of the be good rules. He helped me when I needed it. I said thank you, and he said you're welcome, so that's manners. And he didn't commit any crimes like the rest of you did by not helping me because that was the crime of criminal negligence. So Jeffy is the only one who's not going to jail. Oh, what was that? So how do you think Jeffy's Be Good School is going? I think it's going to be bad. You know, because it's called Be Good, so he's going to be bad. Be bad. Yes, like, Marvin. Be bad, like Marvin. Hey, then guess what? I passed. You passed? Sure did. Yep, he saved my imaginary life. You know, most students don't save my life whenever I choke on the imaginary sandwich, but your son did, so he passed. He learned how to be good. He learned his manners. He learned that he should help people. He learned not to do crimes, and he learned that he should get me my ranch at Applebee's. So does that make up for the Hawaiian punch? Mmm, I forgot about that before now. All right, listen, kid, you better hope I never have to see you again. Well, Jeffy, look, at least you passed, you're not going to jail, and we can put this whole thing behind us. Yeah! Hey, so I got a call from a kid with an axe in his head, and he said you did it. Ah! Uh, oh! Uh... All right, we're going back, come on. Oh, Jeffy. report card. Are there any Fs on your report card? Um, no. Are you lying? No, there's no Fs on it. Because, Jeffy, if there's a single F on that report card, we're not taking you to Disney World. All right, well, check this out. Boom. Not a single F on this report card. All D's, Daddy. It stands for Disneyland, 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 Disneyland. Jeffy, all D's is not good. Yeah, but it's still passing, Marvin. There are no Fs on his report card. But D's are bad. D's are passing. And D's are my nuts in your mouth. Ugh, how old are you? Old enough to have my nuts in your mouth. <sighs> good one, Daddy. Right, Jeffy, look. I guess if there's no Fs, we'll still take you to Disney World. <gasps> really, Daddy? I'm gonna go pack my stuff right now! But you have to get better grades next time! Marvin, I don't think we have enough money for all three of us to go. You're right. We're really poor right now. I think we could buy two tickets. Okay, I think you and Jeffy should go so you can have a father-son trip. I guess you're right. Me and Jeffy haven't spent a lot of time together. I'll go buy two tickets to Disney World. Okay. All right, baby. I got me and Jeffy two tickets to Disney World. Aw, you and Jeffy are gonna have so much fun. Yeah, I hope so. Jeffy, are you ready to go? Yeah, Dang. Sure I am. Jeffy, what is that? Oh, it's Tomater without the tub. No, not Tomater. It's a mask. What are you wearing? Oh, it's the piglet mask I found in your closet. Marvin! What? Where did you get that? I've never seen that mask before in my life. Jeffy, take the piglet mask off. No, I want to wear it in Disney. Disneyland on all the rides. You can't wear that on the rides in Disneyland. You, you gotta take it off. But I gotta show Winnie the Pooh his best friend Piglet. He already knows his best friend Piglet. Look, you gotta take that mask off right now. No, Dad, I wanna wear the Piglet mask. 
Take it off, Jeffy. Look, you can you can take tomato, or you just can't take the mask. Oh, okay, day. Oink, oink. So, Marvin, are we going to talk about the piggy mask? We're not going to talk about the piggy mask. Okay. All right, Daddy. I'm ready to go to Disneyland. All right, Jeffy. Grab your ticket to Disney World and let's go. What? Grab your ticket to Disney World. Disney World? I didn't want to go to Disney World. I wanted to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland and Disney World are the same thing. No, they're not. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, they're basically the same place. Uh, no, you're not. Because Disney World is the world of Disney, and Disneyland is the land of Disney, and I've never been to Disneyland, so that's where I want to go. Jeffy, if you've been to Disney World, there's no reason to ever go to Disneyland. Disney World is bigger. It has Epcot and Hollywood Studios and everything. I don't care. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland land is all the way on the other side of the country in California. We live in Florida. Disney World is in Florida, so we need to go to Disney World. I don't care how far Disneyland is. I want to go there because I've never been there. Jeffy, I already bought tickets to Disney World. These tickets only work at Disney World, so we're going to Disney World. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me look real quick. They're only good at Disney World. I already read it. Well, right here, it says that it's good for Disneyland or Disney World. It doesn't say that. Yeah, it says it right here. It does not say that. It does, it does not say that. Oh, you want me to lie and say that the tickets are for Disney World, not Disney... Oh, mm -hmm. I've already heard you. You just don't want to take me to Disneyland because you think I'm ugly. Oh, no, Jeffy, you're precious. Oh, no, 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 no. Disney World doesn't think you're ugly. Disneyland thinks you're ugly. So we don't want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> if you don't take me to Disneyland, I'm going to get all F's on my report card and wear the piggy mask to school every day. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay, we'll go to Disneyland. We're gonna go to Disneyland. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna buy plane tickets. God, we have to fly to California. I'm afraid of flying, baby. Can you just go with them? Oh, no, Marvin. I have a bunch of appointments. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna buy the plane tickets. Let's just go to the airport, Jeffrey. We're going to Disneyland. Yay! Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. What, Jeffy? What do you want? Gook, come gook out the window. No, I'm not gonna gook out the window. I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Mr. What doing? What, Jeffy, leave the passengers alone. <gasps> you have peanuts? Can I have some of your peanuts? No? Oh, man. Danny, can you give me some peanuts? The guy behind you said I had to get my own. I'll ask the flight attendant. Just shut up, Jeffy. Because if I could get some peanuts right now, that would be the bomb. What, Jeffy, you cannot say that. Oh. You can't say bomb. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? I got a complaint from another passenger that said that you were threatening the plane with a bomb. What? No, 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 no. My son said bomb, and I told him not to say bomb. See, you just said it again. What? No, 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 I was just saying what not to say. See, now you're saying it so much, I'm thinking maybe you got one up your butt and you want to use it. What? No! Hey, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. No, 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 I am calm. I just don't like planes. Oh, you don't like planes, so you want to get rid of it. What? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't like flying. You don't like flying, so you want to force the plane down. Oh, no, 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 you're being ridiculous. Sir, if you don't calm down, I'm going to have to strap you to the seat. I am calm! All right, that was pretty rowdy. I'm going to have to strap no, you no, down. No, 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 stop it, stop it, This is ridiculous. All right, sir, when we land, we're going to untie you, and we're going to give you a cavity, sir. This is so stupid. Danny, how did you get an extra seat belt? Jeffy, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Come over here. I'll kill you. Breaking news, okay? A plane was forced to make an emergency landing after a man threatened the plane with a bomb. Marvin! Sit down there, you! Marvin, what is going on? Well, Jeffy had to- Quiet, I'll tell you what's going on. Your husband threatened the plane with a bomb. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, get it out! Look, Jeffy wanted peanuts on the airplane, and Jeffy said if he got peanuts, it would be the bomb. And I said, Jeffy, don't say bomb. And then he heard me say bomb, and then he stuck his hand up my butt looking for a bomb. See, officer, it was just a mistake! No, 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 nobody says bomb on a plane unless they have one. What if the person's flying to Bombay? What did you just say? Get down, let me check your butt again! Well, I don't have a bomb in my butt! That's exactly what somebody with a bomb would say! Officer, what is going to happen. Well, your husband's on a no-fly list, which means he can never fly on a plane ever again. Well, I'm afraid of flying, so I don't care. So are we still going to Disneyland? Oh, we're not going to Disneyland after this. <laughs> I hate crying people. Like, whenever I arrest somebody and they're like, that's not mine. You just planted that in my car. I saw you. And it's like, I had to plant it there because I had to meet my arrest quota. Jeez. Anyway, I don't want to see you on a plane ever again, buddy. You hear that, little man? Oh, stop, stop poking me. Boop. But don't, don't boot my nose. <sighs> So how are we going to get to Disneyland? Look, Jeffy, look, we we can just drive to Disneyland, but it's going to take like three days, so we'll leave tomorrow. Okay, good. All right. Marvin, I'm hungry. Can you take me somewhere nice? Well, baby, I just got put on a no-fly list. Do you think I want to go to a restaurant? Come on, somewhere nice. 
I can see if we can get a reservation to Harry Housen's. Harry Housen's? But it's impossible to get a reservation! Not for Googly Bear. Look, let's go, baby. Okay, can I come? Uh, please, please, please? What? No, you're not gonna go with us. You never take me anywhere. You're a dumb friend. Marvin, how did you get us a reservation at Harry Housen's? I didn't. We're just sitting at a random table. Marvin, what if they kick us out? Baby, they're not gonna kick us out. We're already sitting here. Excuse me, but unfortunately, we are closing in five minutes. Aww. Oh, no, no, baby, don't worry. Look, we already know what we want. Can we just order? <sighs> what can I get you? Baby, hurry up and look at the menu. Okay, let me see. Oh, Marvin, I can't see it from here. Just order uh, sushi and chocolate cake. Okay, uh, do you guys have sushi? <sighs> we are now closing in four minutes. Oh, no, 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 I know we want. Uh, can we get the, the dynamite roll? Okay. And then can I get the, the chocolate cake? Chocolate cake, sir? Yeah, 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 it, it, it's, it's right here. I don't believe we have a chocolate cake on the menu. Well, yes, yes, you do. It, it, it's right here. It says chocolate cake. Uh, read it. Oh, you must be referring to the chocolate smothered calamari. <laughs> well, no, 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 that's up here. We're talking about the chocolate cake under desserts. Mm, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses. You'll have to read it for me. It, it says chocolate cake. Don't you know the menu? No, oh, I'm sorry. We change the menu every day. Marvin, just order the chocolate cake. <sighs> okay. Can I please get the the chocolate bomb cake? Bomb! Bomb! This man claims to have a bomb! Evacuate the building! What? No, no, it was a chocolate bomb cake! Freeze, you're under arrest! Wait, it's you again? Now you're threatening a restaurant with a bomb? What? Officer, it's just a misunderstanding! Yeah, I was just trying to order food off the menu. It says chocolate bomb cake. See, see it right there. Yeah, but the waiter said you also tried to order the dynamite roll. Why are you only ordering explosive menu items? <laughs> Yeah, 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 she wanted sushi, and the only sushi was the dynamite roll, and she wanted chocolate cake, and the only chocolate cake was the chocolate bomb cake. I was just trying to order the cake. But earlier, you threatened a plane with a bomb, so why did you think you should be ordering explosive menu items? You could have ordered literally anything else on the menu, like the like the Lady Baltimore cake, whatever the hell that is, or the, or the buttercorn pudding, huh? Why not that? Or the... Oh my god, look at these prices. Jesus Christ, I should be arresting the owners for robbery. Oh my god, wait, special shrimp stir fry? Oh, hold on, scoot over. I mean, I'm gonna arrest you, but I mean, a man's gotta eat. I'm hungry. Uh, what's in the special shrimp stir fry? Waiter, I need a waiter. Excuse me. Can an officer get some goddamn service over here? You know, protect and serve? Wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right, they evacuated the building because of the bomb. The bomb! That's right, you're under arrest. Oh. Now bend over so I can check your boy. <laughs> All right, that's it. You're not allowed outside anymore. You're under house arrest. House arrest? Why? Because you won't stop talking about bombs. You already threatened a restaurant and a plane. I can't trust you. This whole thing's a misunderstanding. And I'm getting real tired of sticking my hand up your butt. I'm gonna have to start wearing gloves because I'm getting tired of cleaning my fingernails. Well, I, I was just trying to order food at the restaurant. It was called Chocolate Bomb Key. That's what it was called. I mean, nose itches. Oh, God, your house stinks. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not your house. It's your ass. What? Ew. Oh, God. Wait, wash your hands! Wash your ass. What? It's gross. No, don't wipe it on me! Why? It's your stink. It's your ass. It's you! Can stop it! Ugh. Ugh, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. What can I do to stop all this? Well, if you could get a witness that could testify that you weren't really talking about a bomb, then I guess I could let you go. Well, my, my son Jeffy, he knows this whole thing started over peanuts. He knows I wasn't talking about bombs. Okay, well, if you can get him to tell me you weren't talking about bombs, then I'll leave you alone. Okay, let me go get my son. No, 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 no. I can't leave you alone with him. You might threaten him to make him say that. You're gonna have to bring him here. Okay, baby, can you send Jeffy a text? What do you want me to do? Send a text. Send text? Like the explosive? What? No, no, I said send a text. I heard send text. Can you send a text message to Jeffy and tell him to come here? Okay. You're, you're crazy. Like, you're going crazy. No, I think you're crazy. So I'm going to give you a psychological test, okay? Now, how many fingers am I holding up? Not my thumb. Not your thumb? Yeah, how many fingers do you see? I see four. C4? Like the bomb? I'm going to check your blood again. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Ew! Oh, oh man, would you like not wipe? What's going on? I don't expect someone to give me a cavity search. I'm not prepared. So you're just sitting like that? Doesn't it itch? Hey, no! Well, hey, Jeffy, tell the officer. No, 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 no. Let me ask him. I don't want you like stringing him along or something. Okay, Jeffy, I have a few questions for you. So, like, do you guys not own toilet paper? What's going on here? We're gonna ask about the peanuts. Ah, the bombs, right? Okay. So, Jeffy, now, has your father ever said anything about hating planes? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't like planes. Shh, I'm afraid of flying. Shh, 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 shh. Now, Jeffy, do you think your father would like it if all the planes just exploded? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, no, I, I don't like planes. Like, I don't quiet, like flying. Quiet. Now, Jeffy, does your father have a lot of gasoline somewhere? Yeah, in his car. Oh, really? All cars have gas in them. Then why don't you get a Tesla? Well, because they're expensive. Oh, really? All right, Jeffy, I have one more question for you. Now, is this whole thing actually just about you wanting peanuts? 
Yeah, because I wanted peanuts and I asked my dad for some and I said if I got some peanuts, it would be the bomb. Oh, the bomb, yes, like a good yes. thing. Yeah, yes, yes, like, like a good thing, like, like oh, the, the bomb. Oh, well, don't I feel silly. Well, yeah, it was a big misunderstanding, so you understand it now? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I understand, you're free to go. Well, I'm free to go! Wait a minute, unless he's in on it, and you actually do have something up your butt that I didn't find the first three times. Well, no, there's nothing up my butt. Okay, I'll make you a deal. Let me search your butt one more time, and if I don't find anything other than dingleberries, right. you're free to go. <laughs> No, there's nothing on my butt! Marvin, don't you want this to be over? Yeah, your ass is on the line. <sighs> okay, fine, do it one more time. Yes! Alright, I didn't find anything, so you're free to go. And I went up to the elbow this time. Thank God it's over. So when are we leaving for Disneyland, Dad? We're not going to Disneyland! Guess what, Simmons? You owe me a hundred bucks. No way, mate. Yep, that's right. You bet me that I couldn't get the same guy to let me give him a cavity search four times in one day, and I did it. So smell it and weep. Oh, God, here, take your hundred and leave. Oh. <laughs> Joseph and Cody! What's up, guys? Uh, Joseph? What's up, dude? Only, Joseph, where's Cody? I don't know, he usually shows up right next to me. Uh, I hope Cody's coming over. Yeah, I mean, it's kinda weird. Now I have no one to make fun of. Yeah. Nice shirt, dweeb. You're wearing a shirt too, dude. Yeah, but mine is orange, the color of oranges. Yours is green, the color of boogers. That's gross. Is that all you could think of? Yeah, Cody's so much easier to make fun of. Yeah, he is. I hope he's still coming over. <gasps> Ooh, maybe his mom is so fat, she's blocking the doorway and he can't get around her. <laughs> that is a big issue. Yeah, big. <laughs> issue. Yeah. <laughs> Come inside. All right, dude. So, Joseph, you really don't know where Cody is? No, dude. Usually after I knock on the door, he appears right next to me. He just appears right next to you? Yeah, he spawns in like a video game. What? That's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But what do you have planned for us today? I was thinking we could try these Oreos. It's just Oreos, dude. Well, these are double stuffed. Kind of like Cody's mom. <laughs> Facts. What? Oh, that must be Cody. Let's enter the door. Okay. Hey, hey Cody. Cody. Hey, guys. Cody, you're late. Come inside. Yeah, dude. But, but I have the... Okay. Cody, what took you so long? You're late. Well, I had to get ready. For what? For, for this. To hang out? But no, no, for, for this, you know? You want to try these new Oreos I found? But Junior, those are just normal Oreos. No, these are double stuff. They're like your mom. <laughs> fat. She's fat. Yeah, she is. If you say so. Well, that's all I had planned for the day. I'm bored. Well, I had something planned. What? Well, look at me. Notice anything different? Do you have a booger in your nose, dude? No, I don't have a booger in my nose. Well, most noses have boogers in them, Cody. Well, okay, maybe I have a booger in my nose, but that's not the point. Why don't you check? Well, I'm not gonna check. There's probably a booger in there. Oh, can we see it? No, you can't see the booger. It doesn't matter. Forget about the booger. Is that what you want us to see? No, no, look at me. Do you notice anything else that's different? Oh, you have glasses. Yeah, I, I do have glasses. Yeah, have you ever noticed he's wearing glasses? Dude, it's something new. Like, it's, well, it's new I, glasses. I've be. worn glasses as long as you've ever known me. No, you've never worn glasses but today. Well, I promise I've always worn glasses. Look, that's not important. Look, I'm a magician. So you fix lights? No, th Junior, that's an electrician. I'm a magician. I do magic. What? Well, you don't do magic. Well, yes, I do. Well, then do some magic tricks, you, you dumb electrician. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to show you I can do magic with a card trick. Ooh, a card trick. Okay, Junior, pick a card. Okay. Wait, why does he get to pick a card? I'm going to pick a card. Okay, Joseph, pick a card. Yes. No, he told me to pick a card. Dude, you always get to do stuff. You have your own month. And we deserve that month. Uh, okay, guys, can we just focus on the trick? How about we play rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to pick a card? Okay, best of three. Best of seven. Best of 15. No, no rock, paper, scissors. Joseph, pick a card. Okay, which card? It doesn't matter, any card. But I just don't want to pick wrong. What, you can't pick a wrong card, just pick a card. All right. Nah, nah, nah. What, just pick a card. Um, dude, help me pick. Okay, uh, pick that one. This one? No, lower. This one? Lower. This one? No, up. <laughs> oh my god, somebody just please pick a card. So I can pick a card. If you want to. Dude, I want to pick a card. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no, all right, let's go. Joseph, pick a card. All right, all right. But why not that card? No, I don't like it. What? No, just pick that one. Oh, you, want you, you wanted to pick that one because you memorized that one. Yeah, cheater. No, I don't have it memorized. Just pick a card. Yeah, pick a new one. All right, I'm going to pick a new one. Uh, okay. Okay, you have the card? Yeah. Do you know the card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the six of club. Wait, you're not supposed to tell me the card. But you asked me which card it was, well, dude. I just wanted to make sure you knew. I'm not supposed to know. Of course, I'm, I, of course I would know. I picked the card, dude. Okay, just put the card back. All right. Now pick a different card. 
Okay. Good choice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, okay. So you know the card. Mm hmm. All right. No, no, no. You... Oh, that one, that one has a king on it. Yes, yeah, the king of spades, dude. You're not supposed to tell me what the card is. You asked me if I knew the card. Dude. It, it looked cool. What? You're not supposed to know. Put the card back. Put, put the card back. Okay. You gotta be specific with the rules. Pick a new card. All right. <sighs> okay, okay. Do you know the card, Joseph? Mm hmm. Okay, don't tell me. Just show it to Junior. See it, dude? Oh, that's like the Lucky Charms logo, like the ten of them. Yeah, it's what? ten of clubs, dude. No, no, you guys keep saying the card. But you, you wanted me to show it to him. Yeah, I thought it was cool. But don't tell me the card. I'm, I'm not supposed make, to know. Just making sure he knew, though. What? Okay, my, oh my god, put the card back. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, just pick a different card. <sighs> okay, okay, so you have the card. Yeah, I have the card. Do not tell me the card. Okay, so you know it? Yeah, I know the card. All right, now put the card back. Wait, well, why, wait, wait, why would he put it back? So you can feel where he put it and you know what it is? No, I have to do the magic trick. No, don't put it back. He's trying to cheat. Are you cheating again, dude? No, I'm not cheating. I don't care what you do with the card, okay? Just do anything with the card. But don't show me the card! You can't do anything with it! I want to show you the card! Well, and then anything else, don't show me! But it's a cool it. card! Yeah, say that. Say, do anything but show me. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing magic for idiots. You're just a really bad electrician. I'm not Put the card back. Okay, pick a different card. Oh my god, okay, okay. Don't tell me the card. Do not show me the card, okay? Do whatever you want with the card. Oh, I'm gonna flush it in the toilet. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, dude, I got rid of the card. Okay, so it's gone, right? Yeah, it's gone. And it's not coming back? Nope, it's not coming back. Okay, is this your card? Hmm. I don't know, maybe. What, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Look, you made me pull a lot of cards. Well, uh, th no, no, this this is your card. Y you just had this one, right? Nah, I thought it was the three of hearts. Yeah, what the three of hearts? Right, I think so too. Yeah, it was three. N n no, no, it was the two of hearts. That was your card. No, I saw a three. What, n no, no, you, look, you just had this card. You flushed it down the toilet. No, it was the three of hearts. Mm -hmm. No, you just flushed this card. Wait, if you flushed it, how do you have it? Yeah. That's a magic trick, the whole point. Did you go in the toilet to get this card? Ew, what? gross. No, I didn't go in the toilet. Who digs in the toilet for cards? What? Creep. Cut the crap! This is your card. Ta-da! It was the three of hearts. Yeah. It's not the three. Okay, fine. Whatever. Are you gonna do another trick? Yeah, sure. Pick a card, Junior. Okay. Uh, what card do I want? I want this one. Ooh, right nice on the ground. You're not supposed to. All right, fine. Pick that card. Uh, what do I do with it? All right. I want you to take that card and shove it up your butt. What? Shove it up my butt? Yep. Shove it way up your butt. Why? Well, that's the magic trick, Junior. You'll see. Hey, Joseph. Can you help me put that in my butt? Okay. It's gross, but okay. Make sure you get really in there. Uh, yep. Deep, deep in there. Oh, hold on. There you go. Uh, okay, it's in my butt. <clears throat> yep. Ta-da! Wait, what? That's the trick. Wait, wh what? It, it's in your butt. Wait, wait, yeah, it's in my butt, now what? Well, that, I mean, that's the trick. It's just up your butt now. Is it supposed to come out of his mouth or something? No, but it will appear in the toilet next time you use the bathroom. Oh, cause cause he flushed the other one. No, no, because it's cause it's in your butt. You suck at card tricks. Yeah, this is a bad trick. Okay, whatever. We're done with card tricks. Can I have one of those Oreos? Yeah, sure, get one. Okay. Okay, guys. I have a totally normal Oreo cookie, right? Yeah, I saw you grab it from the bag. Yeah, nothing weird about it. No. Okay. I guess I'll just take a bite then. Mmm, <sighs> that's a good cookie. Now watch this. <laughs> Do that, dude! What the cookie came back? That was crazy. Mind freak! Oh, let me see that cookie. Oh. Uh, uh, Wait, dude, it's a fake. Uh, uh, how about we just do a hat trick? It's then? a fake. Wait, it wasn't even double stuffed. All right, guys, sorry about that last trick. That last trick was dumb. Yeah, where do you even get a fake Oreo? From the magic store. What if I wouldn't have had Oreos? How would you have brought it up? I would have just said I brought one from home. Why would you just bring one Oreo from home? I, I don't know. It would have gotten stale. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, you guys want to see a hat trick? Sure. Okay, now look in the hat. Is there anything in the hat? No, just your lice. Ha, <laughs> itchy scalp. Well, I don't have lice. Or dandruff? No, I don't. Just, just look, there's nothing in the hat, right? No. Okay, well, I'm going to make something appear in the hat. Are you going to itch your head and have your lice fall in it? <laughs> but no, I don't have lice. Look. Okay, do you need my magic wand? Oh, you like Harry Potter. Well, yeah, sure, I'm like Harry Potter. Okay, ready? One, two, three, Alakazam! Ah! A lice monster! It's not a lice monster, it's a rabbit! Wait, that's a rabbit? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a fake rabbit. Wow, so you just carry fake rabbits around in your hat? Well, yeah, it's like a magic trick thing. Fake rabbits, fake Oreos, real lice. Well, I don't have lice! Oh, okay, you know what? No more hat tricks, no more card tricks. I'm gonna show you guys a real magic trick. Where's my sexy assistant? Oh, sexy assistant! <laughs> 
I'm ready for the water trick, Ken. All right, for my next trick, I'm going to be using my sexy assistant, Ken, here. Oh my god, Cody, he's a doll! Joseph, let's not get into this right now. I'm doing magic tricks. What's this container for? I'm glad you asked, Junior. Ken is going to be placed inside this container as it slowly fills with water. Will he get out before he drowns? It doesn't even matter. He can't breathe. He's a doll! He's not a doll, Joseph! Wait, so he'll be able to move his arms and legs? No, he's going to be tied up. Okay, I got to see this. All right, Ken, get in there. All right, everybody. Ken's in there, and he's all tied up. Tied up. Cody. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So Ken's in there, and he has to escape before he drowns. Oh, my God, dude. This is a waste of time. No, it's really cool. We don't know if he's going to get out or not. He's not. He's a doll. All right. The trick's about to start. Remember what we practiced, Ken. Okay, here comes the water. Oh, the water. Oh, no. Ken, you have to get out. You're going to drown. So stupid. You better hurry, Ken. You don't have long. Uh, why isn't he untying himself, Cody? He's about to do it, Joseph. Oh, no. It's filling up really fast. Ken, you gotta hurry. His arms is even isn't moving, dude. Yeah, 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 they're not moving. Ken, you better hurry up. You sure he's not a doll? No, no, no. He's Come on, move, up. Ken. Oh, Ken. Oh, no, it's getting pretty high. Oh, Ken, you're gonna drown. No, Ken. Uh oh. I told you this uh -oh. was a waste of time. No, 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 he might he might do it. He might actually do it. What? Um, I, I, I think I saw him flinch. What? Uh oh. I, I ran out of water. I, I have to go get more water. Hold on. Okay, hopefully this is going to be the last one. Okay, hopefully. Let's just let's try it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it's getting really close to his head. Close, Ken. Oh, no. He really needs to get out or he's going to drown. Dude, he's a doll. He's not going to drown. Not a doll, Joseph. Oh, oh, no. He's about to cover his mouth. Uh oh. Oh, Ken. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to start drowning. Oh, no. No. Ken is fine. Oh, oh no. He's underwater. Uh, oh, he's underwater. He's going to drown. He's not even moving. Oh, no. He'll get out. he's a doll. That's why he's not moving. No, he's not moving because he's a professional. He's not scared. Oh, no. He's underwater. He has to get out. He's going to drown. Cody, he has to get him out. He's going to drown. No, Ken's going to get out right now. Mind free. Oh, my God. Junior, the card that was in your butt. Ah! That was in my butt. That was in my butt. I put it up your butt. Yeah, that's in my butt. Oh, Cody, how'd you do that? A magician never reveals his secrets, Junior. Oh my God, Cody, you're the coolest magician ever. Dude, I believe in magic now. Me too, me too, me. Oh my, Cody, you have to do another trick. Yeah, okay, but I need Joseph for this one. Okay, dude. Oh, so cool. Oh, kid, it's so dry. Okay, so for my next trick, I'm gonna saw Joseph in half. Wait, what? what? Saw Joseph in half? Dude, you can't saw me in half. Yeah, you might kill him. Well, he's not gonna die. I'm just gonna take this saw and cut him in half. But saws are dangerous, and saw is also a scary movie. Yeah, it's rated R. And dude, I don't even think you're a real magician. And there's a lot of sequels to that movie. Well, I mean, that's true. But look, you saw my last trick, and Ken was okay. I mean, Cody's kind of got a point. I mean, he did make Ken come out of that water. That was a cool magic trick. Yeah, that last trick was cool and all, but I don't know about this. This one, this is dangerous. I mean, will it hurt Joseph? Oh, no, no, no. You won't feel a thing, I promise. He promises you won't feel a thing, so, I mean, that'd be kind of cool if he could cut you in half and put you back together. I don't know, dude. I mean, you will put him back together, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, Joseph, you gotta do it. I wanna see. I guess I'll give it a try. Okay, lay down, Joseph. All right. All right, are you ready? Yeah, just make it fast. Okay. Wait, 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 Cody, he will be okay, right? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Ta-da! Oh god. What? Oh god, I did the trick wrong! What the, you cut him in half! I killed him! Well, you, I actually killed him! You killed him! Oh my god, I killed him! Well, you, you said you were gonna cut him in half and put him back together! Oh, you can't put this back together, he's actually dead! Well, well, well you I, said you were gonna cut him in half and you cut him in half, what'd you do wrong? Oh god, oh god, I, I was supposed to have like a box and he was supposed to bend his legs, it was like a trick! I, I practiced it on Ken's cousins and they didn't die! Well, how did you forget the box part? I, I don't know, I don't know, but oh. I actually cut him in half! Oh, Joseph, Joseph, speak to me! Oh, he's not gonna talk to you, Junior, he's dead, we what? killed him! What are we gonna do? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I, I can just do another trick. It's called make the body disappear. Uh, mind free. The body's gone. Yeah, it is. Well, where's Joseph? Is he okay? Uh, no. Joseph's dead. I mean, you saw him. He was cut in half. Joseph's dead? You said he was gonna be okay. What is wrong with you? It's Junior. I made a mistake. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, Joseph's dead. I want him back. Come on, dude. Ah. Look, here. Here, pull this yellow thing. W will it bring Joseph back? Maybe. Okay, that's done. That's it? Yeah. And that was my last trick. That's lame! Cody, where'd you go? 
break through the back right now. You can't just poof away because you, you did something bad. Mind freak. What? What? <gasps> the card. Oh, Cody. <sighs> that must be my friends. <sighs> hey guys. Hey Junior. Hey, howdy do. <sighs> it's still hard to get used to that. Yeah. Alright guys, come inside. <sighs> what do you want to do, Junior? I don't know. I've been constipated for like a year. That sucks. I like feet. Yeah, we know, Pangy. <sighs> I really miss Joseph. You know what today is? The one year anniversary of me song Joseph in Half. Yeah, I just really miss Joseph so much. We have this dumb, stupid penguin we hang out with, but I really miss Joseph. Yeah, but you know what, Junior? What? Mind freak. What? What? Joseph? Whoa! Well, Joseph, where have you been the whole time? Dude, I was in your butt! What? I'm not constipated anymore! Mind freak! Simmons, I'm going to show you where we keep the baddest of the bad inmates. Solitary confinement. There's no food, there's no electricity, there's no hope. Well, what do they eat if they don't have food, sir? They eat cockroaches and rats and whatever else they can find on the ground. Okay, so this is our first inmate, Bubbles. What's up, beautiful? Back away from the bars. Oh, wait, you afraid to get kissed, huh? Don't kiss him, Simmons. I didn't plan on it, sir. One kiss from him and you'll fall in love. Yeah, welcome to my love chamber. Come on in. Come on, Simmons, let's go. What, what, come on, kiss me. Kiss me. Come on. All right, Simmons, follow me this way. Oh no, hurry up, hurry up. All right, Simmons, this next inmate is the worst of the worst. Her name is Nancy. Can I see what she looks like? Oh, of course you can. She's a caged animal. Hey, Nancy, get out here, you old bag. N Nancy? She's coming. N Nancy? N Nancy, D don't make me come in there and pull you out. You make me look bad. <laughs> Nancy, you old coop. Just one second, Simmons. Nancy, you're pissing me off. Let me come and grab you. Nancy? Nancy, you better be dead in here because you didn't answer me. What? Oh my god! Oh no, she escaped! Simmons! Simmons, sound the alarms! Nancy escaped! We got a cold red! Lock down the prison! Go, go, go! <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day. Let's see what we got here. She's perfect. Uh, let's go get some kids. Now where are those kids at? Hmm, maybe some musical help. Oh, kids! Where are you, kids? I got some free candy for you, kids! Ugh, I did it. I finally escaped. And on Jeffy's 18th birthday, now all I gotta do is kidnap him and get my millions of dollars. Now, where the hell am I? Ugh. Oh, God. I'm so glad to finally be out of that prison. Oh, oh shit, it's the cops! Wait, wait a minute, that's not the cops. Maybe, maybe he'll give me a ride. Woo-hoo! Oh, you-hoo! You-hoo, big boy, can you give me a ride? I don't think he's stopping. Stop! 
Hey there, baby. You really shouldn't stand in the road. I almost hit you. Can you get me a ride, big boy? No, I only take kids. Oh, really? Well, there's a kid I need you to help me take. Sorry, I work alone. I'll give you $50,000. Huh, that'll buy me a lot of candy. Get in. Chief, Chief, Chief! Don't worry, guy, I didn't forget today's your birthday. <gasps> Chief, you remembered my birthday! Happy birthday, guy. I didn't know it was your birthday, mate. Yes, Simmons, today's my birthday. At least somebody remembered. Well, happy birthday! It's too late now. So what were you gonna tell me, guy? Huh, I don't even remember, I'm just so happy now. The prisoner escaped! Oh yeah, the prisoner escaped. <gasps> Chief, the prisoner Nancy escaped from solitary confinement. We locked down the entire prison, but she still somehow got away. Damn it, guy, how could you allow this to happen? Sir, I don't know what happened. She dug her way through concrete, I don't know how. It was like some Shawshank Redemption shit. Damn it, guy, you better bring her back, dead or alive, or you're fired. Sir, you can't fire me, today's my birthday. Then I'll wait till tomorrow and then fire your ass. Well, you can't fire me, because I quit. I'm just kidding. You know I need this job. Come on, Simmons, let's go find him. All right, Marvin, is this good enough? I think we need a few more balloons. A few more balloons? I bought all the balloons from the store. I just want to make sure that Jeffy's 18th birthday is special. <gasps> Marvin, this looks amazing. You did this just for Jeffy's birthday? You know me. I love Jeffy, and I want to make sure his 18th birthday is the most special birthday he's ever had. That's so sweet, Marvin. Jeffy's going to be so excited. Hey, Chef PB, can you go to the store and get 50 more balloons? 50 more balloons? I'll get you stupid balloons. Now leave me alone. I just want to make sure that Jeffy gives me money. I mean, I want to make sure that Jeffy knows I love him. Marvin. And you're not doing this just because Jeffy's inheriting millions of dollars from his dead father, are you? Jeffy's inheriting millions of dollars from his dead father? It completely slipped my mind. Oh, really? I'm being serious, baby. You know I love Jeffy. I mean, it's his 18th birthday. Marvin, come on. Just let him enjoy his special day. Baby, it is our special day because he's turning 18 and he can move out of the house. Marvin, we're not kicking him out of the house on his birthday. It depends on how much money he gives us. Marvin! Oh, listen, let me go wake up Jeffy because it's his birthday and let me get his king crown. King crown? <laughs> Hey, hey, my snoring Russian. Jeffy, hey. wake up. It's your birthday. Really, Daddy? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old. <sighs> yeah, that too. So how about you take off that bunny suit and come downstairs? But what if I don't want to take off my bunny suit? Then leave it on. You can keep it on all day. Really, Daddy? You never let me leave my bunny suit on all day. Well, it's your birthday, so you can do whatever you want. And look, for breakfast, I got you candy bars. <gasps> candy for breakfast? really nice to me today. Well, you know I love you, Jeffy. I wouldn't be doing it for any other reason. And look, since it's your birthday, is there anything else you want? Strippers. But you want one? Yeah, with big yummy cans. Well, I'll call one up for your birthday party, which is downstairs. Whoa, I got a birthday party? Do I have chocolate and cake? Of course there's chocolate cake, buddy. <laughs> So how about you go downstairs? Wait, wait, wait a second. You're now king of the house. I totally forgot you're king of the house. King of the house? So, here is your birthday crown. You can tell people what to do. Oh, well then I banish you to the dungeon. Well, don't banish me yet until you see how cool your birthday party is. Okay, let's go see it. Come on. All right, I'm going to take off my bunny suit and put my birthday suit on. Well, don't get naked. How about you just take the bunny suit off? Come on. Here it is. Here's Jeffy's cake. All right, Jeffy. Here's your birthday party. <gasps> Daddy, look at all your balloons. Wait, uh, Chef Baby, where's the 50 extra balloons? They were sold out. I just got the cake. Wait, go get some more balloons. Go find some. Drive 100 miles to go get some. Get I'll some. find the balloons. Go get some. It's Jeffy's 18th birthday party. I want it to be special. <gasps> Daddy, this is the coolest birthday ever. It's your birthday. Fit for a king. Yes, Jeffy, and look at all your presents full of expensive items, and maybe one day you'll repay us like today. Marvin. Which one has the stripper in it? Uh, she's on the way. What? That's what Jeffy wanted for his birthday party. No, Marvin. Hey, Daddy, since I'm 18 now, can I throw this glass cup against the wall and shatter it? I mean, I'd rather you didn't, but if that's what you want to do on your birthday party, then go for it, buddy, but please don't. Hmm. I've suddenly grown out of childish behavior. Wait, really? No. Oh, well, I, you know, that doesn't even make me mad because it's your birthday party, so just go go crazy, Jeffy. <laughs> There's someone at the door. Stripper? Wait, no, not yet. I, I'm about, I'm, I'm, she, uh, it's your friends. Oh, my friends. Jeffy, your friends are here. Happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, dude. This party's so crazy. Thanks, guys. Look, I'm a king. Oh, wow, that crown is so cool. And you're 18 years old. That means strippers. Bye. Yeah, you can also vote now. What? Well, he can. You can also buy an assault rifle. Gun laws are so crazy. I'm going to hide when you turn 18. See that, how 
house right there? Yep. That's where the kid lives. What does he look like? He's got a blue helmet and a yellow shirt that says Jeffy on it. You can't miss him. It's his birthday, so he's probably got a party going on. All right. What I'll do is I'll just go up to the house and pretend I'm there for the birthday party. And when I see him, I'll grab him and bring him back to the van. Good thinkings. So, Jeffy, what are you going to do for your 18th birthday? I might eat cake, I might stick my wiener in an amp pile, the possibilities are endless! I'm really digging your LGBT birthday napkins, super homo. Yeah, super, dude. Thanks for giving us a shot. No problem, Cody. <laughs> Jeffy, there's someone at the door. Stripper? Maybe. Hello? Hey, I'm here to see the birthday boy. We didn't hire a clown. Well, someone did. Who? Listen, man, I don't ask questions. I just do what I'm told. I'm here to eat cake, make snake balloons, and snort blow. Uh, I mean, a, a clown would make Jeffy's birthday party really cool. It sure would. So come on inside. Planned on it. Jeffy, there was a special guest at the door. Was he the stripper? No, it was a clown. No, wait a minute. I can strip too. Stop that. We don't need that. Oh, yes, we do. Keep going. Stop that. What? Just focus on making animal balloons. Oh, darn. I left my balloons out in my van. Which one of you kids wants to come out in my van with me and get the balloons? Ooh, I will. No, I really think the birthday boy should come with me. No, the birthday boy needs to stay here and open his gifts. No, I really think the birthday boy should come out to the van with me. No, get one of the other kids to do it. Listen, bub, I'm taking this kid with me whether you like it or not. No, you're not going to talk like that. I didn't even hire a clown, so you need to leave. Just get out of here. Come on. Oh, rats. Go on. Get out of here. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Listen, 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 listen. What? I'm sorry. Get out of here. Oh, damn it. I gotta get that kid. What What happened? Where's Jeffy? He didn't want to come to the van. His dad said no. What, why would you tell him about the goddamn van? Nobody's willingly gonna get into a van that says free candy on it, goddammit. Listen, he's yelling at me, you're yelling at me, it's hurting my feelings. Well, what are we gonna do now? How are we gonna get Jeffy? No, hold on, I'm thinking of something. Well, think faster! Oh, you know what? I got it. Hold on, I'll be back with the kid. Jeffy, are you ready to hit your piñata? I have a piñata? Yeah, it's waiting for you outside, Jeffy. Oh, I'm about to whack that shit. A piñata? That's so crazy. All right, kids, everyone outside to hit the piñata. Yay! All right, Jeffy, hit your piñata and make all the candy come out. Shouldn't he be blindfolded? No, it's Jeffy's 18th birthday. We want to make sure he gets all the candy, so hit it, Jeffy. Stand back, everyone. Yeah, because I'm about to go ape shit on this horsey. Take this horsey! Ah! 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 All right, here's the kid. This van is so crazy. This lollipop hurts to eat. What? Who the hell is this? Where's Jeffy? I thought this was the kid. No, I said blue helmet, yellow shirt. Oh, I thought you said blue shirt, no helmet. What, what are you, knocking fucks? This is the wrong kid. It is? Yes, now we gotta kill him so he doesn't tell on us. Why would I tell on you? This van is cool. Okay, listen, kid. You get out of this van and you run and you don't stop running. Okay, I love running. Well, what do we do now? Uh, okay, since you can't do it right, I have an idea. Now pull the van around in front of their house. All right. All right, kids. Did everyone get some candy? Yeah! All right, Jeffy. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put candles on your cake and sing you happy birthday. Can you sing me happy birthday 18 times since it's my 18th birthday? Yeah, Marvin. You did say anything for Jeffy's birthday. Uh, I mean... 18's a lot of times. You sure you want 18? Yes. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll sing it 18 times. And can everyone dress up like me? But why would we dress up like you, Jeffy? Because it's my birthday and it would be fun if everyone dressed up like me. <sighs> All right, everyone. Go put on a yellow shirt and a blue helmet to look like Jeffy, I guess. Come on, baby, let's go dress up like Jeffy. This is the coolest birthday ever. Everyone loves me. I can't believe I'm doing this. I look ridiculous. Baby, hurry up. Aw, Marvin, it's just too big on me. Baby, it looks like a dress. Look, we have to dress up like Jeffy to make him happy on his birthday. You really want that money, huh? But baby, I already told you this isn't about the money. I would do this for anyone on their birthday. You would do it for me on my birthday? Well, I mean, listen, baby, it's not about the money. Breaking news, okay? World-renowned painter, Jacques-Pierre Francois, the famous painter we all presumed was dead. Turns out he's actually still alive. He faked his death to make his paintings more valuable. I have an exclusive interview with him now. All right, everyone. I'm here with the now alive world-renowned painter, Jacques-Pierre Francois. So tell us, Jacques, why would you fake your own death? Uh, you see, paintings are worth more when the artist is dead, and I was drowning in gambling debts. So I fake my own death, and now my paintings are worth millions. Extraordinary. But how 
did you fake your death? You jumped off the bridge and we saw the splattered remains on the canvas. Now that was quite simple. All I had to do is push a pig off the bridge, and when it splatters on the canvas, the body was unrecognizable. And I bought that painting for $200 million, and now that you're not dead, that painting's not worth fuck! That is, as you Americans say, too bad, so sad. I'm gonna slap that stupid little pipe cleaner mustache clean off your stupid face. Don't hate me because you ain't me. Well, what about your son? He was supposed to inherit your multi-million dollar fortune. Ah, uh, yes, the boy. Listen, son, if you are watching this, look into the camera. Look at your papa. Fuck off. Well, you heard it here first, folks. I'm out $200 million. I will now celebrate my millions by eating one of your American hamburgers from the McDonald King. Oh, wow, Marvin. Good thing it wasn't about the money. Otherwise, you'd be really upset right now, huh? He's not getting any of the money! I'm taking a Jimmy off and off and throw the cake away and pop it out of the balloon! And you said it wasn't about the money! Of course it was about the money! You think I would take care of it for years for free? Marvin, we Jeffy! I don't, you might, but I don't, I definitely don't. He's got so much hell in my life, he's broke stuff, I want him gone. Jeffy would be really upset right now if he heard the awful things you were saying. I'm very upset for the things I heard on the news. I thought we were going to get money, baby. I thought we were going to get be paid. That wasn't even your money. That was Jeffy's money. I thought he was going to give us some. I thought he was going to be like, hey, hey, Marvin, uh, sorry for screwing your life over the last few years. Here's a, here's a quick milli. It's quick milli cash. You honestly think Jeffy was going to share? Yes, I thought he'd give a shit. I, I am so mad. I I'm gonna go throw his cake away. I'm taking that damn king crown off his head. I'm only singing him happy birthday once. Marvin, you're gonna sing happy birthday to him 18 times on his birthday. Let's go. No, the only 18 thing that's happening is how old he's turning because he's out of the house. No, we're, Marvin, you don't mean that. We're kicking him out of the house. You think I'm gonna deal with him for free? He's not gonna live with us till he's 30 or 40. I'll kill myself. Listen, I am gonna go tell Jeffy that he is gone when he leaves his house. And I'll, uh, we, we can sing him happy birthday once, but I'm taking that crown. We're gone. Stop right here, stop right here. All right, what's the plan? Okay, we're gonna roll the windows down, and then you're gonna play some silly music so the kids think you're an ice cream truck. And then when the kids come out to get their free candy, you're gonna grab Jeffy, and I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat and speed off. That's a good idea. I wish I would've thought about that. All right, roll your window down. Free candy, kids! Okay, Jeffy, we're dressed up just like you. Yeah, even Ken. Oh, that's sick. It's like I'm Gru and you guys are my minions. We got to get the girl another unicorn toy. You guys hear that? It sounds like an ice cream truck. Ooh, ice cream? I want ice cream. Mother effing ice cream truck? This birthday is the tits. Let's go. Guys, I can't believe it. A free candy van. What a dream come true. I hope they have Starburst. Ooh, they better have Snickers, dude. I want M&M's. Guys, doesn't this seem a little suspicious? How? Well, it's a white van with free candy spray painted on it. That's like typical kidnapper stuff. Cody, nobody kidnaps people anymore. That's illegal. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere, dude. Yeah, nobody's gonna go to jail for kidnapping. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. I guess you guys are right. This isn't sketchy at all. Cody, let's just go get our free candy and shut up. Oh, here they come. All the kids are coming. Good. Now you tell the kids they have to go to the back to get the candy, and then you grab Jeffy and I'll speed off. All right, got it. All right, Jeffy, let's hurry up and sing happy birthday, and then you're getting the hell out of the house. Where Jeffy? Where's Jeffy? Where's all the kids at? Uh, uh, Marvin, I couldn't find any more balloons at the store. Don't yell at me. I don't care. We don't need any more balloons. Wait, seriously? Well, you wanted balloons earlier. I don't care about this party. I don't care about these balloons. We don't need anything. Thank God. Do you know where the kids are at, Chef PB? Uh, I think they're outside at the ice cream truck getting ice cream. Ice cream truck? Yeah, you don't hear it? What? Ugh. We want candy. Yeah, do you have Skittles? Oh, do you have three musketeers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all the musketeers and mouse tools. So just if you want candy, meet me at the back of the van. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, this is getting worse. How? He wants us to meet him at the back of the van. Yeah, that's where he stores all his candy. You see how big this van is? Oh, dude, just shut up. Oh, okay, but if somebody gets kidnapped, don't come crying to me about it. Come on. Candy, 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 candy. Who wants candy? We do. Oh, please look for the sneakers first. All right, let me see if I got it. Nope, no Snickers. Aw, oh, man. What other candy would you kids want? Uh, do you have Starburst? What, what, what the? Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Hey, go away, Jeffy. Nope, no Starburst. Aw. You have circus peanuts? Let me check. Hurry up and grab them, damn it. All right. They all look the same, though. What are you kids doing, oh, Jeffy? All you kids go inside right now. Hey, I got what are you doing? Let go of me. I don't want to be in the bathroom. Let go of me.
There, all the candles are lit. I can't believe we didn't get any ice cream. Or candy. I don't even think they had candy. Jeffy, are you ready to blow out your birthday candles? Yeah, are you guys gonna sing happy birthday to me 18 times? Of course, Jeffy, but wait, where's Marvin? Oh, he was outside and he yelled at us to come inside and said we couldn't have any candy. Oh yeah, he's in a bad mood, Jeffy. But he's been in a good mood all day. I know, but I think he has a headache or something. Are you ready to sing happy birthday to Jeffy? Yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Jeffy, happy birthday to you, again, again, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Jeffy, blow out the candles! Oh. Yay! So, Jeffy, did you like your birthday today? Well, you guys had me in the first half, not gonna lie. But the second half blew major donkey balls. What was wrong with the second half? Well, for starters, all the presents downstairs were just empty boxes wrapped with wrapping paper, and Daddy ran away. Well, you know, Jeffy, I think your dad's going through a midlife crisis today. Today? Of all days? Maybe he's at the store getting you real presents since your gift bags were empty. We can only hope. Well, do you want to watch some TV, Jeffy? Ooh, well, since I'm 18 now, can we watch naughty shows? I'm talking full frontal. No, Jeffy, let's watch the news. Oh. Uh. Breaking news, MK! Okay? A prisoner in a maximum security prison has escaped. Please be on the lookout for this woman pictured here. Her name is Nancy. Real mommy escaped from prison? Uh, Jeffy, let's watch something else. Nudity? No, Jeffy. Mommy, what if real mommy comes and tries to kidnap me? We wouldn't let that happen. You promise? I promise. Okay, good. Um, now where's Marvin? I'm gonna give him a call. Nipple time! Jeffy, change the channel. Mommy, look at these rocking cans. Jeffy, change the channel now. Jeffy, stop it. Oh, he didn't answer. Well, he's missing a good show. Jeffy, I'm changing the channel. No. <sighs> okay, let me see Jeffy. He's right here. He is mommy. Wait a minute. What are you guys doing? Let me go. This isn't Jeffy. Sure it is. See the blue helmet and the yellow shirt? No, no, no. This isn't Jeffy. This is somebody else with a blue helmet and yellow shirt. <sighs> Listen, this is too hard. Can we try something easier? Wait, wait. You're Jeffy's mom. Wait a minute. You're the bozo who put me in jail. Well, no, no. You put yourself in jail, but I had nothing to do with it. Okay, look. I don't want you. I wanted Jeffy so I could take his millions of dollars that I rightly deserve. Well, good luck getting that money because his dad's not dead. He's actually alive and he's not giving Jeffy any of the money. <laughs> nice try. You really expect me to believe that? Wait, it's on the news. You just turn it on. Yeah, right. You'll say anything to get me to let you go. No, I have a better idea for you. I'm gonna hold you hostage until Jeffy gives me that money. He doesn't have the money. Well, if he doesn't give me the money, you're dead. <laughs> hey, can I use your phone? Sure. I gotta call his family. All right, what's Jeffy's number? Jeffy's number? Why do you need his number? Because I'm gonna call Jeffy and you're gonna tell him you're kidnapped and that you're gonna die if he doesn't give me that money. He's not gonna believe me. Well, we're gonna try anyway. Oh, okay, his, his number is... I'm changing the channel, <laughs> Jeffy! No, you're not! I've waited 18 years to watch shows like this! You're not gonna take this from me! You can wait a little longer! Wait, wait, wait! My phone's ringing! Maybe it's Marvin! No, it's not my phone. Yeah, it's my phone. Yellow, yeah, you have reached the plug. Please, Shibby. Shibby. Go on, talk. Uh, Jeffy, it's it's me. Say Shibby. What? Say Shibby. Uh, Shibby. Wait, what was that? Was it some kind of code? No, he told me to do that before I talked. I, just say what I told you, damn it. Uh, 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 hey, Jeffy, it's, it's me, Marvin. Uh, I was kidnapped. Sorry, wrong number. What? Who was that, Jeffy? It was some salesman trying to sell me a car's extended warranty. But you don't have a car. Exactly why I hung up on him. Aw, you're so smart, Jeffy. I don't know. What'd he say? Uh, he thought it was a wrong number. Oh, damn it, make him believe you or I'll shoot you in the head. Oh, uh, yeah, call my wife, call my wife. Okay. Hi, 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 Jeffy, hi, hold hi, on, my hi. phone's ringing. It's a blocked number, hello? Talking no funny business. Uh, hey, baby. Marvin, where are 
you? Why are you calling from a block number? A it's a long story, so I got- Oh my god, are you calling from a side chick's phone? What side chick would I have? Listen, baby, look, I'm kidnapped, and they want millions of dollars, so can you- Marvin, is this your sick way of trying to make money because Jeffy's dad really isn't dead? Wait, he's not? But baby, no, I'm not trying to make money. I, I can't believe you abandoned Jeffy on his birthday. You're a deadbeat dad. No, I'm kidnapped. I didn't abandon- I guess just come home whenever you feel like it. Don't hang up. Okay, what'd she say? Uh, she thinks I'm a deadbeat dad and I left Jeffy on his birthday. Oh, God damn it! that's it, I'm killing him, get my gun! Oh, no, 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 don't, don't get the gun, oh, okay, how about one of you call him, because you guys have scary voices, so who has the scarier voice? She does. Yeah, okay. Mommy, is my real dad really alive? Yes, he is, Jeffy. Well, I want to meet him. No, I don't think you do. Just don't watch the news. No, I want to meet him because I bet real daddy wouldn't leave me in my own birthday party. I don't know about that, Jeffy. Wait, my phone's ringing. I bet it's Marvin. What do you want, Marvin? If you ever want to see Marvin again, you'll give me $5 million. Wait, this isn't Marvin. No, it's not. And if you ever want to see Marvin again, give me $5 million. What's going on? Okay, I kidnapped Marvin, and if you want to see him again, you will give me $5 million. But I don't have $5 million. Well, then I guess you're not going to see Marvin again. What, should I kill him now? No, don't do that. Um, I'll just call you back in five minutes. What? Okay. Wait, but uh, you called from a block number, so I don't have your number. Oh, yeah. Hold on. What, what is your number? Mine? No, the guy who's tied up. What's his number? What? No, I was being sarcastic. Yes, your number. Well, then you should have said something. You should have said, hey, Screwball, what's your phone number? Hey, Screwball. What? What is your phone number? 555-555-5556. It's... It's all fives with the six at the end. You can't screw it up. Okay, I'll, I'll call back in five minutes, okay? Jimmy, your dad's been kidnapped! Which one? Uh, Marvin! Oh, well, good. He deserved it. He left me at my own birthday party. Oh, I'm gonna call the cops. What'd they say? They're gonna call me back. But if they don't call me back in five minutes, I'm killing you. Uh oh, they're gonna call back. Hey there, somebody called the cops? And I brought backup, because in case you haven't heard, there's a goon on the loose. And she's a real rascal, that goon. So have you seen any goons? What about you, kid? You look like you've seen a goon or two. That goon kidnapped my husband. It's the woman that escaped from prison that was on the news. I'm sorry, what? The woman on the news that escaped from Hey, see, see, I just distinctly didn't hear you say happy birthday to the birthday boy. Oh, is it your birthday today? Nobody loves me. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's my son's birthday today, so. Oh, yeah. God, I hate people who have the same birthday as me. I wish they'd all die. Can we focus here, please? This woman kidnapped my husband. She's asking for $5 million or so she's going to kill him. Wait, you were contacted by the woman who escaped from prison? You hear that, Simmons? We have a lead. We have a lead? We have a lead. So where is she? I don't know. She called from a blocked phone number. A blocked phone number. We lost the lead. We lost the lead. We lost the lead. But she did give me her phone number. She gave you a phone number. She gave you a phone number. She gave you her phone number. Okay, great. So we can just call her. So we can just call her. So we no, no, can... Simmons, Simmons, stop. Stop singing. It's starting to piss me off. Okay, so we can just call her and hear her demands. Yes, but I already told you her demands. She wants $5 million or she's going to kill Marvin. Hey, listen. You've never met an negotiate him like me. I can get that price way down. You should have seen me get my Hyundai Sonata. I got them to take five grand off the sticker. Oh man, it was great. Hey, you, you want to ride in my Hyundai Sonata? No, please, can we just focus and no, call this on, woman? No, come on, you gotta take a ride in my Sonata. Come on. There she is. That's my baby. It's very nice. Now, can we it please? It is very nice. I insist you take a ride in her. No, that's not necessary. Can we please oh, go it's call? it's very necessary. When you feel the seats are gonna be in heaven. I'll take your word for it. Please, oh, let's go call. Oh, you don't have to take my word for it. Come on, let's take a ride. Ugh. Oh man, I love being in this car. It's way more comfy than the cop car, which I have to go get in soon. Yes, this car's very impressive. Now can we please this go back? This car has so many features. Like, check this out. You're gonna love this. You know what that is? That's a blind spot camera. So if some little brat tries running up on me while I'm turning, I can see him. It's very convenient. Can we go back inside yeah, and, I and call? Yeah, I got all of these features for a steal at the Hyundai Sunday sales event. I'm so happy for you. Can we please go call Jeffy's? I Jeffy? think we should take a quick little ride around the neighborhood. No! Yeah, come on, come on, you'll love it. Ugh. Oh man, how lucky are you? You get to ride in my Sonata. Not a lot of people get to do that. Not even my daughter, you know, because she eats crackers and the crumbs get between the seats. Oh, big mess. Can we please? Huge mess. Can we please? And then you gotta get in there with a vacuum and that takes forever and it's Can loud. we please? And then you gotta pay the vacuum with quarters and that just sucks. Can we please call the woman now? Oh yeah, we can call her, just hold on. <sighs> it's ringing. Hello? Hey there, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know that this is the police and you're going to jail, bitch. <laughs> Say hi, Simmons. Hi, Simmons. 
No, Simmons, you're supposed to... Just call her a bitch. BITCH! You hear that? That's my buddy Simmons, and he's gonna kick your ass! I sure am! Yeah, he'll hit a woman, he doesn't care! I don't care! He doesn't care! Oh, no, you're not, because I got a hostage. Oh man, I hate when they have hostages. What do you want? I want five million dollars. You're gonna meet me in the field. Y you know the one. Oh, yeah, of course I know the field. It's the field. It's the one field. You're gonna meet me in the field in an hour with five million dollars and Jeffy, because I want to say hi to him. Uh, okay, okay, but, but hear me out. How about three million dollars? No, it's five million dollars or I kill this guy right now. Oh, damn, you're not playing, so I don't get the Hyundai Sunday sales event price? No. Uh, okay. Simmons, when we get there, we're gonna shoot her in the face. And no weapons! Oh, come on, that's not fair! So do we have a deal? <sighs> okay, stupid. I didn't get anything out of that phone call. I'm sorry, mate. What did she say? She wants us to meet her in the field in an hour with $5 million and Jeffy. But we don't have $5 million! Yeah, I know. So when she gets there, you and I are just gonna tackle her. I mean, it's two against one and she's had no weapons, so I think we can take her. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy, let's go see her. So what's happening? We're gonna meet the cops and Jeffy in an hour to trade you for the money. Yes, screwball. Why would we meet with the cops? Wouldn't they just shoot us? No, because I told them no weapons. Oh, that's smart. But guess who's gonna bring their gun? Who? Me! Well, that's not fair. Shouldn't you tell them so it's fair? No, I don't care if it's fair. Come on, we're going. Okay. Okay, Simmons. I'm assuming they're in the van that says free candy on it. Oh, mate, you think we can get some free candy? I don't think they have any free candy, Simmons. Well, why would they put it on the van if it's not true? I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it so they can kidnap people. But that's illegal! I know, and that's why we're gonna arrest them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of the van, and we're gonna play good cop. We're gonna be like, hey, we got your money, and then BAM! We whoop a ass! And then we save Marvin, we get the key to the city, and the chief is gonna give us promotions. Sounds good, mate. Alright, Jeffy, you stay here. All right, bitch, we're here. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, right, right. No, Simmons, I'm not all right. I closed the door in my hand. You Ow. need to go to the hospital? No, we're doing this. Hold on. <laughs> okay, look, we brought your money, and we didn't bring any weapons. <laughs> well, I did bring a weapon, so show me the money or I'm going to blow his head off. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's, That's not, not fair. fair. We said no weapons. We were going to beat your ass. <laughs> you really thought I was stupid enough not to bring a gun? Now show me the money, or I'm going to shoot him and all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, it's actually kind of a funny story because we didn't bring the money because me and Simmons thought we could beat you up. All right, that's it. I'm killing him. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't shoot him. We, we have Jeffy in the back of the car. You wanted him, right? Okay. Hand over Jeffy. Uh, Jeffy, could you come out of the car? Hey, Mommy. Jeffy, run! Hey, Jeffy. Mommy missed you. Now come to Mommy. Go! Uh, uh, hey, at least we saved Marvin, right? Go on, Jeffy. Oh. Well, you're not gonna let her take Jeffy, are you? We don't have any weapons, bro. I don't know what you want us to do. Hey, Jeffy. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay, since you didn't bring my money, I'm taking Jeffy with me. And whenever you want to stop playing games, maybe we can make another deal. Come on. Oh, Daddy, help me! She took him. She really just took him. I mean, hey, at least you don't have to deal with him anymore. Well, I know, but like, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Why? What do you care? You were always complaining about him anyway. Well, I know, I just, I still care about him. Yeah, I mean, look on the bright side. At least it's a nice day for it. You know, it's not too hot, not too cold. You know, if my kid were to get kidnapped, I'd want it to be in weather like this. True. What are you guys gotta do so they go out and chase the van? We can't do anything, man. We don't have any weapons, and she has a handgun. She could shoot all of us. Wait, mate, don't we have a sniper rifle in the trunk of the car? Oh, yeah, we do have a sniper rifle in the trunk of the car. Okay, Simmons, I want you to camp out somewhere. Get up in one of these trees and shoot out her tires. On it. Okay, Marvin, me and you are gonna chase that van down. Come on. Let's go. Ugh. Someone's gonna die today. All right, Marvin, you're about to see how I drove on my driver's test when I was 16. Poorly. I'm trying, man! Scooble, hurry up! He's gaining on us! Jerry, why are you trying to hurt Bobby? I hate you! I'm gonna kill you! 
Oh man, she is driving like crazy. I guess I can add reckless driving to the list of charges. You know, I can make corny cop puns because we're in a police chase. Let's just focus on the road, okay? <laughs> Jeffy, I'm sick of you. I never loved you. You were an accident. After I get my money, I'm gonna kill you and bury you in the deepest hole I can find, and then I'm gonna kill your other babe. Daddy, help me! Ram her! You should ram her! Okay, I'm gonna do a pit maneuver! Yeah, go! Wait, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, shit! What? I ran out of gas! I ran out of gas? Well, she's getting away! Can we get more gas? Hmm, I don't see any gas stations in this fucking field, do you? Well, no, but she's getting away! It's up to Simmons now. Simmons, I need you to shoot those tires out right now! I'm on it, mate! Hold still, you bastard! Uh, Simmons? You are only supposed to shoot the tires. Whoops. Jeffy's dead. Uh, uh, uh d dispatch? We, we, we need, we need an ambulance and a fire truck. Just, just, just all of it. Get out here now. Marvin? Oh my god, Marvin! Thank god you're okay and no one was hurt! Ooh, uh, Simmons, I think we should probably leave. Why? This is about to be really sad. Marvin, where's Jeffy? Uh, he's, uh... He's not coming back, baby. What do you mean he isn't coming back? Where is he? His, uh, his, his mom took him. No, she didn't. Marvin, we have to go back there. We have to go get him. Get the cops. No, he, he, he's dead, baby. He's dead? What are you talking about, Marvin? Listen, the mom took him in the van and the van exploded and Jeffy died in the explosion. Exploded? No, no, Marvin. Jeffy can't be gone. No, he just can't. He can't. He, go, go get Jeffy. He's dead, baby. He's dead. But, He's not Marvin. coming back! He's not coming back! Marvin, no! It can't be real! This is this isn't happening! It's his birthday today! Marvin, no! I know, I know, he died, baby. I know I should have been nicer to him. I, I just can't believe this is happening! I know! I know! I, baby boy. I know, I should have I should have been nicer to him. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have been mean to him on his birthday. I'm no, sorry. If, if I had a chance, I'd say sorry. I, I, I wish he was here right now. No, Jeffy! <laughs> Oh man, Simmons, I feel bad. But you must feel way worse, because you fucking suck at shooting. This was entirely your fault. It was a moving target, mate! Gas cap? Tire. Big difference, Simmons! But they're both round! <sighs> okay, Simmons, let's just go. I just wish Jeffy was back! I know, baby, I miss Jeffy too! <laughs> I wish I could just hear him do that annoying uh sound one more time. <laughs> Marvin, that was a really good impression. What? That wasn't me, I thought it was you. What? Sad, Daddy. It's not like you had to walk 50 miles in the dark getting eaten by mosquitoes on your birthday. Well, Jeffy, you're alive! Oh my god! Yeah, I jumped down the back of the van before it exploded. Well, what? Yeah, this is what happened. Uh, hey, we're almost out of gas. Then find the gas station. Uh, well, Jeffy, uh, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, Jeffy! Uh, Die, bitch! So that's what happened. Yeah, we love you so much, Jeffy. <laughs> well, it's not like every day you kill your mom on your birthday. Well, Jeffy, listen, I know you're 18, but you don't have to move out of the house. You can stay here as long as you want because I can't imagine life without you because I've gotten so used to you. I know I know, I was mad to you today on your birthday, but that was just because I thought we were getting money, but I don't care about the money. I, I just want you, Jeffy. I love you so much. Aww. Well, love you too, Mommy and Daddy, but I didn't plan on going anywhere. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hold on. Hello? Hey. What, what are you doing here? I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. Well, I thought you died. You were driving the van. No, I heard a gunshot and I got scared and jumped out. Uh, hey, we're almost out of gas. Then find the gas station. Uh, well, Jeffy, uh, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, Jeffy. Uh, gunshots, I'm out of here. So, do you accept my apology? Well, get out of here. I don't want to see you ever again. I'll call the cops right now. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was one of the kidnappers! What?! I already called the cops! Hey there, you call me? Oh, hey, you're not dead! How the hell did that happen? Oh, listen, listen, one of the kidnappers at the door, he survived! Oh, hey, that means nobody died today! Well, actually, I shot my mom in the face before the van exploded. Oh. Okay. Well, with the explosion, there's no trace of the body. So, that means no paperwork from me. And that's the best birthday present I could ask for. This video is about me. It should have been called Brooklyn Guy's 45th birthday. No balls, name it that.
Jeffy, you're gonna be late for school. Baby, have you seen my car keys? No, Marvin. Looking for these, Daddy? Jeffy, give me my car keys. Ha uh ha, -huh, you're sure. Give them to me, Jeffy. Oh, what well, Jeffy spit them out. Spit them out right now. Mm -hmm. uh... well, Jeffy, you swallowed my car keys. Well, now I don't have to go to school. Oh, you're going to school, Jeffy. Marvin, why doesn't he just take the bus? It's already late. He already missed the bus. Well, it looks like I need to stay home from school. No, Jeffy, because you have a car, so we're gonna drive you in your car. Not if I can swallow the keys first. Oh, no, Jeffy! Wait, Jeffy, you are going to school. Come on, right now. Oh, man. <sighs> Jeffy, get in the car. Don't have to. You just have to. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the car, you're grounded. Aww. All right, Jeffy, put your seatbelt on. Can we bum some tunes so the hoes know I'm coming? Seatbelt now. Jesus. All right, Jeffy, let me know when it's safe to go. I don't want to get in a car accident. Oh, you're good for days. I'm in so much pain, Jeffy. I think my arm's broken. Oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you two? I trusted Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, you totally had it. You were just too slow. Okay, you two. You're lucky to be alive. And you, you should have your driver's license revoked. Who pulls out in front of cars like that? My son told me there were no cars coming. And you believed him? What, you couldn't take the two seconds to just look? You know, you had mirrors for a reason. You know, if you had blind spot cameras like my Hyundai Sonata, this never would have happened. Listen, I don't want to get yelled at. I'm in a lot of pain. Danny, you look like you hate towers. How long is the recovery process, doctor? Uh, him, I think he'll probably be fine. Just got a broken arm and then a bruised face. But him, oh no, no, this is his life now. I mean, his jaw is broken. His ribs are destroyed. I mean, you could poke him with a pillow and kill him. His eyes kind of hanging out and his arm has melted to his head from the engine fire. Yeah, he's going to be like this forever. What? So he has to live his whole life looking like that? Oh, yeah. Unless you hire me as a plastic surgeon. Well, how much would that cost? Uh, about 50 Gs. What? $50,000? We don't have that kind of money. Can, can you do it like a favor? No, 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 no. There's no pro bono surgeries here. Except for the girl who came in for a free boob job. That was pro boner. So you're going to pay me or what? We don't have that kind of money. Then get out of my hospital. <sighs> Come on, Jeffy. Ow. Go. Ow. Shoot. Ow. Why are you guys staring at me? Well, Jeffy, we're just concerned because why do you look like that? Because I got in a car accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. Do you want some of my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week? No, I don't think I can eat because my esophagus is closed up. All right. Before we start class today, I wanted to remind everyone that tomorrow is picture day. So make sure you look your best. These pictures are going to be in the yearbook for years and years. And you don't want people to look back and be like, damn, he ugly. So, any questions? Yes, Jeffy? What's your question? I don't have a question. Well, then don't put your hand up if you don't have a question. Put your arm down. My arm is stuck to my face because I got into a car accident. Oh, you are ugly as shit. Go to the principal's office right now. You are way too ugly for me to look at. <laughs> yeah, bye, freak. Hey, my arm may be stuck to my face, but I can still whoop your ass. So shut it. Cross, if you look like that, you better do something to fix yourself by tomorrow. Oh, man, I'm in so much pain. Well, you need to drive more careful next time, Marvin. I was driving careful. Jeffy said there were no cars coming. Hey, guys. What, Jeffy? What are you doing home so early? You're supposed to be at school. The teacher said I was too ugly to look at. That's horrible, Jeffy. You're still a handsome little boy. I am? Yes, Jeffy. Well, picture day's tomorrow. Oh, dear God, no. But Jeffy, you can't go to picture day looking like that? You guys just said I was your handsome boy. Well, Mommy, lie. Your face looks really bad. You look like something out of a scary movie. We need to get your face fixed or something. But Marvin, it costs $50,000. We can't afford that. Well, maybe the doctor will put us on a payment plan. L let me just call the doctor and see what we can do. Hey there, you call a doctor? Oh, hey, it's you guys. You guys finally decide to pay me for plastic surgery? Well, yeah, kind of, because tomorrow's picture day at school. Oh, yeah, I do a lot of business around this time. People want me to fix the ugly. They call me Dr. Ugly Fixer. Because I fix ugly, as previously implied. Then why haven't you fixed the bald spot on your head? <laughs> I want to fix it, but I can't afford to pay myself. Damn it, if I would just lower my prices. Well, see, that's why we called you, because we can't afford you either. Like, your prices are just too high, and we were wondering if maybe you could put us on a payment plan? But are you are you asking if there's another way you can pay me? Well, is there? I mean, listen. No. What? I want 
cash, okay? I don't care what your wife will do to me. Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter, because cash doesn't whine and then want to be cuddled afterward. Well, no, no, listen, we just can't afford that price. Like, maybe we can pay you later, right? Like, like, you could do the surgery now, and then we pay you all that money later? Okay, but if I do the surgery, what if you move away to, like, Antarctica or something, and I never see you again? Then I'm out $50,000. Ooh, ooh, I got an idea. What if you put a tracker in Jeffy's face? Like, when you cut it open to fix it, you put a tracker in there, so if we don't pay, you can track us down. Huh. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'll do the surgery now, and if you don't pay me later, I'll come back with a baseball bat and rough you up a little bit. Uh uh, okay. All right, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you want me to uh, give your wife some bigger cans while we're at it? Uh -huh. Marvin, no! Okay, okay, fine. I'll just do Jeffy. Come on. Okay, I'm done with the surgery. Is Jeffy okay? Oh, yeah, he's never looked better. Are we going to recognize him? Oh, yeah, he's going to be the son you've always wanted. Okay, everybody, say hello to Jeffy. Uh, donkey, give me some cheese cake! Shrek, get out of here. Go, you little uh, rascal. Donkey! Damn ogres. Jeffy, can you just get in here? Hey, no! Jeffy? Yep, that's him. But what did you do to him? Oh, well, I uh, fixed his teeth, I made his eyes not crooked, I fixed that stupid unibrow, I slicked his hair back, and I gave him some nice clothes. He also added a few extra inches down there, so now I'm rocking a full four inches. Yeah, I did what I could. Oh, yeah, and I also found this in his lower intestine. Those are my car keys! Well, there they are. Well, Jeffy, you do look really good. Yep, that's what I do. And I also put the tracker in his nose, so if you don't pay me, I'm gonna get you. All right, champ, you have fun at picture day. Save some poo-poo for the rest of us. So, Jeffy, how do you feel? I feel constipated, Daddy. Real constipated. The poop troops are stuck in the poop loop. Well, I think you look handsome, Jeffy. Yeah, you need to get some sleep, because you have a big day tomorrow with picture day. Can I sleep in this? Yeah, Jeffy, don't take that off. You look really good. I want you to look like that in the picture, so go to bed. Right. He looks really good. Whoa, Jeffy, looking fine, like a Sharpie. Thanks, Cody. But Jeffy, how do you look so good? Yesterday you were so ugly, and now you look so good. I got plastic surgery, Junior. Well, I thought that was just to give girls bigger boobies. No, they do everything, even butt. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so hot. Thanks. No, like, you look really hot. All right, calm down. You need to get spayed. You're in heat. All right, class. I hope everyone is ready for picture day. You wouldn't want to take an embarrassing photo. Oh my god, Jeffy, you look so handsome. Thanks, Teach. Oh my god, PJ, you're so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're guapo. I don't know what that means, but I agree. <gasps> Maria, look at that boy over there. Oh, Dios mío, muy caliente, si puppy. Let's go over there and talk to him. Wait, wait, ladies, where are you going? The bowl of coleslaw is right here. L ladies, what the? That man's jacking my steez. Hey. You're so hot. See, see, so sexy. Jeffy, give me your number. Ladies, ladies, please. I'm constipated. I'm trying to poop here. Give me some space. Bro, you stole my chicks. That's not very bro-like of you. I never stole these girls. They were never yours in the first place. It was just your turn. Oh, that's it, bro. I'm going to get revenge. And when PJ gets revenge, things get ugly. Let's kiss him. <laughs> ladies, the diarrhea is flowing. Hey, Jeffy, how was picture day? I don't know. You tell me. Check it out. I'm one handsome son of a gun. Aw, look at my handsome baby boy. Be careful with that paper, Mommy. It's wet. Girls have been sitting on it all day, so it's saturated in fish stick juice. Well, you look really good, Jeffy. Thanks, Daddy. Ah! Well, it's time to hit the hay. So you pooch smoochers behave. It's time for me to get some shut eye. I'm tired of girls kissing on me all day. Jeffy. This'll teach you for stealing my girls. Hey, Jeffy! We snow! Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! He's hideous! What happened to your face, Jeffy? Somebody broke inside the house and hit me in the face with a mallet until I was ugly again. But what happened, Jeffy? I literally just said it. But then how did someone beat you in the face till your unibrow grew back? I don't know, but they did it! Alright, I'm here for my money. What, what, why do you have a bat? In case you don't pay up. Uh, uh pay, pay, pay up for what? For the surgery that I did, remember, to make Jeffy- Wait, what, why is Jeffy ugly? <laughs> what, he, what do you mean? He's always been ugly. No, 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 I, I gave him plastic surgery to make him handsome. What? 
No, you didn't. What? Y yeah, I did. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and I made him handsome. What? But baby, do you, do you remember? Do you remember this this doctor doing surgery? Um, no. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, so if you weren't in a car accident, what happened to you? Uh, I, I fell down the stairs, and and, and she dropped a toaster on my head. Yeah, I did that. R really? So, so there was no. Wait, there, wait, there, there, there were no surgery. Jeffy, close your mouth. What? See, see, look, look, look. He's always looked like that, and today was picture day. So, yeah, no, you, uh, you must have must no, had no, a bad. No, no. You must have had a bad dream. No, no, no. This, this can't have been a dream. I remember it. You guys were in a car accident, and then I did surgery, and then Shrek was there. Yeah, this must have been a dream. There's no way Shrek would have been here. That doesn't make any sense. Man, really? This was a dream? Yeah, it must have been a dream. You must be getting old. Oh, man, I'm really sorry for coming in here and threatening you with my stolen Sammy Sosa bat. What? Like, no, this is really stolen. Stolen from Sammy Sosa. Stolen right from his locker. See his name's on it. It's nuts. Anyway, sorry. Oh, that was a close one. Now we don't have to pay him money. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, did you learn your lesson for today? Look both ways. Look both ways. Before, Before crossing, crossing the street. The street. Alright class, today is Happy St. Patrick's Day. So if you're not wearing green, you get pitched. See me, I have gray pants on. So you better not pitch me or else I beat your ass. I have black belt taekwondo. <laughs> anyway, if you're not wearing green, then I give the entire class permission to pinch you. So, go. Who's not wearing green? Cody, is it? Cody, is it? Pinch a pinch a pinch. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I have green on. Where? Uh, uh, you got three seconds, dude. Uh, what's it? Uh, oh, God damn it. Pinch a 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 pinch uh, she has green under her shoes, ugly green eyes. Yeah, and this stupid pigtail thing. Yeah. What, what about Jeffy? Mario Lewandowski. Oh. Yeah, see, Cody, you're the only loser who didn't wear green today. Well, I have this green thong at home. I just didn't wear it because blue's my color. Well, you do know that every 15 seconds you don't wear green, we get to pinch you. What, that's not a rule. Yeah, that's now it is. Pinch him. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, come on, Cody. Don't be a poor sport. Oh, nice one, dude. I know. I just thought of that name. <laughs> Man, Joseph, remember when we pinched Cody today for not wearing green? Oh, yeah, dude. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, I want to pinch him again. It's just so fun. Oh, me too. Why does he always forget to wear green on St. Patrick's Day? Because he's an idiot, dude. What's up, homies? What the f***, Cody? What are you wearing? It's my do-rag, Snoopy. I got tired of getting pinched, so I joined a gang. You didn't join a gang. Bro, you're not in a gang. Yeah, I am. The gang green gang. We amputate snitches when they get infected with snitch juice. That's not a real gang, Cody. Stop lying, Cody. Yeah, it is. In the Powerpuff Girls, we call ourselves the Slimes. There's the Bloods, there's the Crips, and we're the Slimes. They call me Key Lime Slime because we're all named after something green. There's this guy whose name is Slime Slime, and he's our leader. Dude, I swear to God, if you step outside looking like that, you're going to get shot. Nah, stop spitting on my wheezies, dog. What? Yeah, you're totally yanking my bacon. Back off the road before the commode explodes, homie. Dude, get him. Okay, I'm going to pinch you, Cody. No, you can't pinch me because I, I, I'm greener than a, than a pasture or some shit. Ow, ow, stop it, ow, you can't pinch me! What are you gonna do, call your slimes? <laughs> yeah, th that's exactly what I'm gonna do. That That's the slime call. They must be busy sliming around somewhere. Well, I'm gonna go slime walk home. Well, what's a slime walk? Well, it's where you slide on your ass like a snail, like Gary from Spongebob. Dude, what the hell is wrong with him? He's just so weird. <laughs> Hopefully now they'll never pinch me again for not wearing green. Skin a rinky dinky ding, skin a rinky doo. I love dudes. Ow. Oh, look, a kitty cat. Wrong neighborhood, SA. Excuse me, what? This is Cash Crush territory. Do you want to get Cash Crush fever? What? Oh, this. No, 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 I'm not really in a gang. See, it's just St. Patrick's Day and I have to wear green so I don't get pinched. So you're telling me since I'm not wearing your colors, you're going to pinch me? Uh oh, no, I would never. Hey, cuz, what you doing on my block? This crypt territory. What, Dad? This is Cash Crush Territory. Oh, I told your pussy ass last time this is my block. Get off it. You're barking up the wrong tree, Gato. Oh, man, I swear to God, I'll put a bullet in your ass right now, put it tat. I'd like to see you try. Guys, guys, stop yanking each other's bacons. This is slime territory. Blood game, bitch! Ah! Ow! Die, Gato! Ah! 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 Yeah, yeah! What's wrong, Slimey? What happened to your green bandana? I got jumped by a bunch of gangs on the way home. See, I told you! Yeah, we said that was gonna happen. Well, I'm never gonna join a gang again. Ow! Junior! What was that for? You're not wearing green anymore! <laughs>
damn it, I'm tired of this not wearing green crap. Okay, fine, how about this? What if I got a green tattoo, would that count? Yeah, I mean, you'd always have green on you, we couldn't pinch you. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll get like a four leaf clover tattoo to my hand. Hey guys, I'm back. Cody, why do you look like the Incredible Hulk? More like the Incredible Dork. <laughs> Okay, well, I went to the tattoo shop to get my four-leaf clover tattoo on my hand, and it looked like shit, and the guy said it would be really painful to get it removed, so I said, you know what? Just do my entire body. Make me completely green. That's the solution. Yeah, so now, every St. Patrick's Day, you guys better watch out, because you can't pinch me anymore. Whatever you say, dude. Did it hurt to get your whole body tattooed? Oh, it was the most excruciating pain I've ever felt in my life, but hey, I'm green. I'm green, da ba dee da ba die you know, like the, like the, like the blue song? Cody, we're just trying to watch the news. The news! Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States is holding an emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, today is St. Patrick's Day. I was pinched for not wearing green, and that really cheesed me off. So, I'm making the color green illegal. If you are caught wearing the color green, you will be sentenced to 30 years in prison. The color green's illegal, but my shorts are green. My whole outfit is green. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. What's wrong, Cody? Uh, Earth to Junior, my whole body's green. Oh my god, it is green. What are you gonna do, Cody? I don't know, Junior, I'm illegal. I didn't know you were Mexican. What? No, Junior, I mean I'm green. Oh, so you're an illegal alien. What? No, Junior, shut up. I mean I can be arrested because of the color of my skin. Join the club. It's been happening for years. What? No, no, I mean, like, this is really important. Oh, my people ain't important? Come on now, my people ain't important? What? No, I just mean, like, right now, this just happened, so please hide me. Oh, hide you like in an underground railroad? What? No, Junior, shut up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, well, I don't know what you're gonna do, but me and Joseph need to change our clothes so we don't get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joseph, this is gonna have to be our outfits from now on. Yeah, dude, I chose a yellow shirt with my name on it because I thought it would be original and unique, right? Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever done that before. Hey, Cody, what are you gonna do about your outfit? Well, if I just wear this every day for the rest of my life, I guess I'll be fine. Cody, why are you wearing all that? Well, this is the only outfit I could find that would cover up all the green. And I'm gonna be honest, Junior, it's pretty goddamn hot in this outfit. So could you please be a gentleman and turn on your AC? Cody, why are you wearing a football helmet? The, the, the Spider-Man mask should cover your face. Well, see, that's the thing, Junior. <sighs> For some reason, the Spider-Man mask leaves my ears exposed. So I'm gonna have to keep <sighs> this stupid football helmet on. <sighs> I still see your ear. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Is that better? Yeah, okay, I don't see any green right now. <sighs> Cody, you can't wear that every day for the rest of your life. Well, I'm gonna have to until they hopefully change the law. There's someone at the door, I'll get it. Hello? Hey there, random green inspection. Random green inspection? Yeah, ever since they made the color green illegal, I now have a warrant to come into anyone's house and find things that are green. Well, there's nothing green in- What the fuck is that? Wait, what? That right there, what is this? What, what is this, some kind of green plant? Get the fuck out of here. What, 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 what? Plants are illegal now, and that lawn you have out there, gonna have to tear that up. Only dirt lawns are allowed. I don't even know what the hell we're gonna do about trees. So everything that's green is illegal? Everything. Even if I pick my nose and have a booger on no, my finger? Uh, don't, don't say that word, please. What, booger? Yeah, yes, that word, don't say it. But booger's not a bad God word. Damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Did you miss me? Oh, you're wearing your cop outfit. Big strong man. A manly oh, man. Yep, a ladies right. man. Mm -hmm. I bet you're getting laid tonight. Yeah, probably not, Booger. Oh, Brooklyn guy, it's St. Patrick's Day and you're not wearing green. Pinch. Uh, uh, Booger, Booger, actually, you know what? The color green is illegal now, so I think I can arrest you. Oh, you wouldn't arrest your best pal, Booger. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't, but, you know, I have to because it's my job. Yeah, you're right. You're the manliest man. You're the man that does what he wants, so you you can arrest me. Yeah, I, I will be doing that. Who are you talking to? Oh, this is my imaginary friend, Booger. I, I, I know you can't see him, but he's annoying as all hell, and he appears anytime anybody says the word Booger three times. Hey, who's this weird horn kid? Like, you can't hear him, but he just called you a weird horn kid, which, to be fair, uh, he has a point. Like, why do you have horns? I don't know. Huh. Hey, Booger guy, are you going to arrest this guy too? I mean, I might if he has green in his house. Ooh, I'll help you find some green on him. Ooh, ooh, you know what, Booger? I have an idea. How about you go outside and you count everything you see that's green? Ooh, that's a great idea, Booger guy. I'll go do that because you're the man. You're the man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get to counting, Booger. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, God, he's so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to come in and look for you if you had One, anything. One, two, three, four, Booger. Five, Booger. Five, Booger. What? Booger, what are you doing? I'm counting everything green outside just like you said. Okay, uh, uh, how about this, Booger? You see that yard way the hell over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go count every blade of grass in that yard. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, Jesus, I'm coming in. 
Who was at the door, Junior? It was the cops. <laughs> what are the cops doing here? They're looking for green. Dude, hide my weed! All right, random green check. Just looking for anything green. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man! I know you're trying to hide with that football helmet and Harley jacket, but I just want to say I'm a huge fan. Wait a minute. Which Spider-Man are you? Tobey Maguire? Andrew Garfield? Tom Holland? Huh? Uh, none of those. I'm the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Oh, really? Well, you got any drugs on you, boy? Dude, get used to it. It's a skin issue. But no, 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 no. I'm not actually Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, not Spider-Man. Uh, aren't you only here to look for green things? Yeah, that's true. And I don't see anything green, so I guess you guys are in the clear. What the fuck? Get on the ground! You're under arrest! What'd I do? This! What, Junior, what's he see? Uh, your back's exposed, and it's green. Aw, oh, damn it! All right, you're not actually Miles Morales, so let's see who you really are. Oh my god, it's Spider-Man! I'm such a big fan! You already did that. Oh, that's right. So let's see who you really are! You're not actually Spider-Man, you're the Incredible Hulk! But which Hulk are you? Are you Eric Bana? Huh? Ed Norton? Huh? Mark Ruffalo? Uh, Eric Bana? Wrong answer! You're going to jail! Well, actually, you're, you're going to court, and then you're going to jail! What was the right answer? Mark Ruffalo, come on! We have to do something, Joseph! Dude, what are we gonna do? Order, 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 order! Cody, you are being accused of wearing the color green! Although I can see you actually are green, so you're obviously guilty! But you are guilty of wearing the color green after the color green was made illegal. So how do you explain your greenness? Uh, well, you see, Your Honor, I, I had my entire body tattooed green because I was tired of people pinching me on St. Patrick's Day, and then they passed a law making the color green illegal. So, so that's, that's what happened. Hmm, I see it's a tattoo. And you had the tattoo before the law, so I can sentence you to 30 years in prison. What a shame. Ooh, I know. I order you to get the tattoos removed with excruciatingly painful lasers. Excruciatingly painful lasers? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ow. Oh, God, it burns. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, ow, ow, ouch, owie, yikes. Jeez. Are you okay, Cody? Ah, uh, Junior! That tattoo removal was the most excruciating experience of my entire life. Ugh. Did it hurt? Uh, yes, Junior, I just said it hurt. Don't you know how they get rid of tattoos? They burn them off with a laser that's like a thousand degrees. That's a lot of college. What are you going to do with all that knowledge? Oh, God, God they burned my skin. Cody, why are your eyes red? Oh, because the blood vessels in my eyes burst from all the pain I was in. And then I tried to lick the laser because I thought it looked tasty. And then it burned my tongue, see? Uh... And then when they were burning my scalp, all my hair just fell out, so that's why I don't have any hair. Ugh. Wait a minute. You're the Cody from the chip challenge no, video. No, shh. No, 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 I'm not. No, no. So, Cody, did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I learned that I probably should have just bought a green shirt and not tattooed my entire body. Yeah, so anyway, pipe down, Cody. We're trying to watch the news. The news! Oh, no, I'm in too much pain. Breaking news, okay? The President of the United States is holding another emergency press conference. Let's go to that now. My fellow Americans, I realized the law I passed earlier to outlaw the color green was pretty silly. So, I am now making the color green legal again. But I'm introducing a new law that it is now illegal to pinch the president. Wow, Cody, you got that tattoo lasered off for no reason. Hijo de puta! What'd you say? Uh, son of a bitch. That was son of a bitch in Spanish. Story. 
is no one's ever treated me the way you did. No, no. I don't think I wanna meet someone like you again. For what you've done, you cannot even make any amends. you were with her the other night Why should I stand in line Just to spend with you some time
Hacemos el cambio con valor y fe. La vida es un viaje que siempre nos ve en cada transformación, en cada renovación, cambiando con la vida. Es nuestra canción.